character reminds me of that uh, Dice character from X Men. Is it Dice? Is his name Dice, right? What? Or Domino? 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 Oh, yeah, Domino. whose uh, power is lucky. lucky. Yeah, that's yeah. literally what your character is. Hey, why are you I killing? I feel that people? occasionally in this game. Yeah. <laughs> I myself yeah. don't do great, but events around me work out. Right, yeah. I kind of like that one's Ah, that was still great. There's like three monsters in a row end up killing themselves. They can certainly the try. Boom. And all the okay. negative luck goes to Tesseract because he keeps ro rolling high. <laughs> right, yeah. and he has like the best stats now for tech use and he still fails. And still fails, <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the roll of the dice, gentlemen. It is. That's why these games are great. Oh, yeah. Losing is fun. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So, last week's left off, you had the guardsman tie up that uh, spec ops officer. He's relieved of his duty. Uh, did you guys kill he's gonna him? Be turned into... no. no, he's no, going to be turned into, into a, a servitor. Coma. Yeah. He will be repurposed to be a servitor later. So right. he he's Truly sent a fate up worse with than death. Uh, he was sent with the guardsmen back up, uh, so they're escorting him back to the ship uh, to become a servitor. Okay, so you guys are not down here anymore. You guys would have been up here now. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna look up how to make the like the forest more dense without having to to, to blast it with so much trees. Oh, we're suddenly up here now. Well, you, you can maybe run. uh just mark the the visuals with just the large trees and not any of the small ones. If you wanted no. to lessen the amount of just clutter on the screen. No, 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 the, the, no, no, no. I'm trying to make the forest dense that you guys cannot see through it as easily. Because um, I see your guys' vision, your little rays. Mm -hmm. I wonder yeah. if it's the ma map of the scale of the map. Let me see what the map scale is. Okay, that's <laughs> that's accurate. Okay. Could just be your token range? Because you guys are seeing pretty far out. Vision 180. I guess we're pretty much see. We're seeing well, it on uh, infinity and beyond. If I it's not so. pitch black like the other place, we should see more than just you know a hundred feet out. Yeah, you, you can just technically make it pitch black and just make has, us have no, 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 vision. no. This is fine. No, it's it's daytime. So, but yeah, I probably will for the uh. Dense forest probably reduce the visibility, so you guys are just stuck in night vision. Mm -hmm. In fact, let me go do that real quick. Brothers, I have a feeling this forest is about to get a lot darker. Prepare your night vision. I hope it's not broken like last time. No, it's, it should all be fixed. That's the problem. It should be fixed. It should have worked last time too, and it didn't. No, that was intentional. What happened, y'all? So. Oh yeah, just just start peeing here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so, what are you guys doing from here? You guys uh, sent the sent the commander on his way. Your thunderbolt. You you sent him with your thunderbolt, right? So that's taking off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's. Uh, taking off with the uh, the guardsman, the spec ops officer, up to up to the war barge. Uh, the war barge just unleashed hell on that thing you shouldn't know about. What thing? Forget about exactly. What thing? Uh, right. And then uh, let's see. <laughs> we should have should know some intel nearby, right? Uh, I think what we gathered from the guards was where they were ambushed and I guess where the others kind of went. So we have an area where to start looking. Yeah. 
Give me one second. <clears throat> He's just affirming that they have acquired all the personnel. And you guys, yes, uh, the guardsmen gave you intel of uh, the direction of, of what the possible base is. They told you that there was a couple, um, they gave you what the infrastructures look like of the, the orcs. So it was like they said they had piles of black and red rocks. They had uh, various... Uh, Various weapons there, uh, human and orc alike, um, vehicles, what have you. <clears throat> and it was due south, and they got ambushed somewhere in between. Uh, there was eight guardsmen here out of a hundred that you guys know of, uh, but there could be possible more out there because they, they well, are there's all there. seven more patrols out there because only three yes. of these are they. This grouping was these eight were from only three of the patrols of the ten. Right. So you guys making your way south? Since that's the direction we uh, have. We have we have no other way to go, so yes. Well, right. We, have plenty of other, we could decide to go north if we really wanted to. Yeah, you can go anywhere you want. But, uh, you gonna, but that's not you guys, Right, you guys, guys going to call any of your assets? And we could just ignore uh, a captain's orders and just go straight for the uh, don't go zone and maybe... <laughs> And hope we don't get obliterated by space lasers. Right. Or, or, or too dumb to live. That's what that plan is. Exactly. Huh. Eh, I think we should just go to the south. Go to the, where yes. the orcs are. Don't you think we ought to make a navigation check first? I think that will be the navigation check. Most likely. So we right. need to know if going south is the right way. I think someone's eager to use a cryptograph. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By all means, brother, lead the way. Yeah, the guardsmen, they gave you all their data and information that they have. Various sites they found and neutralized. Mm -hmm. They had... Yeah, one of them had that uh, among them, so... One squad gave you that. So you know of one squad's movements. Also, okay, yeah. a uh, side note, the more... If we are on lookout for guardsmen and we save as many as we can, that means the more firepower we will have on the final assault on the base. So, yes. More or less? Let's go but on. hopefully we'll run into them on our way to the base. Not no. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you, someone make a navigation check or roll. Yeah, I'm doing that. Right. Any modifiers? Uh, let's see. With all that all that information you got, give yourself a plus plus thirty. Plus thirty, and that's gonna be another plus ten from the yep. uh, cartograph. All right, here we go. Ooh. Yep, you're able to plot a plot a course to one of the first installations marked on that data pad there. You have a kind of a clear path south. Not through the jungle per se, but at least around that route that that one squad took. You, you can deduce that's probably the best way to get to that area. Let's go, brothers. What are we waiting for? You need to point the direction out. Brothers, it's pitch black in here. I don't I'm see blind. Anything. My sensors are broken again. It's no. blank. I believe you have your helmet on backwards. Ah, I fixed it. Thank you, brother. That was indeed the issue. But I still can't see. Well, maybe yours is also on backwards. <laughs> I triple checked. <laughs> ah, it seems I have my blinds on on my visor. Okay, Let me pull them up. The... See a tree. 
<laughs> That's all I see. <laughs> Damn, I'm so big. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> I'm still but fumbling to them, turn my helmet around. Can... It's on backwards, just like everyone else. Aha! No, I got still... it, brothers. You're still coming onto the scene, so what's going on? We know. <laughs> oh god, our apothecary was gigantic for a moment. Still your mind, brothers. Quell these hallucinations. We have a mission to achieve. I see a ping on the map. We're hallucinating and we're not even corrupted yet. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, that ping is uh, generally where... Uh, there was an infrastructure base of some sort the orcs were using. What was it? I didn't see it. Oh, okay. That's where his little uh, indicator said. Okay, well... Well, we might want to use our sensor thing to see if there's any um, biologic nearby. Yep. Yes. And just, you know, also normal awareness checks. In addition to that... Uh, so, All right. eyes up, brothers. Proceed with caution. Keep an eye out for anything. Uh, are we getting any kind of bonus in our on awareness checks, Thomas? This is my awareness check. Okay. For tech okay. use. Mm. Oh, I rolled a five. Holy shit. Minus 20? Oh, minus 20. Cool. Okay, so it. take... I guess take two away from my <laughs> score, then. <laughs> Oh Only that if a tech marine succeeded. Brothers, have a look at this scanner. What's the range? What's the scanner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's, what's the range of that scanner? Uh, it like is. It should be 50 meters. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, oh shit, that's a tiny range. That is a tiny range. Indeed. So, man, these are... trees are huge. They are. Exactly. Uh, so you detect uh, your squad, various life forms in the trees. You detect uh, medium life forms off to your left or right. That'd be your right, my left. Medium you hear... size, as in uh, our. Like the same size you're, as we are, you're considered large, I believe. Yes. So medi medium we would be, be like, medium would be like a like humanoid size or like you know a deer. Okay. Well, let's proceed. I proceed with caution. To where? Forward, towards that structure, and we should do so. Silently. So I want to silently move in that checking, direction. You guys checking for traps, being aware of stuff, or well, isn't that what yes. our awareness check is? Yeah. Okay, who failed? Me. We all failed. Drastically. <laughs> so you're going to fall into a trap. Uh, I guess you could do acrobatics to avoid falling into the pit. Or a climb check, or... Ooh, oh, I'll do a climb check. Right. Nope. So you're not as... So you fall... Oh my gosh. You, you fall about 10 meters down to a trap of spikes, and you're going to take... Nine damage. Brothers, I found a trap. It's okay right. though, you could probably jump in and be fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it uh yeah, I guess. Yeah. Alright. Space Marine. Nope. No no pen, but yeah, you fell in. But be careful. I, think though. I, should, I should probably be the first one going. I should probably be leading the end. These traps I... uh, were who clearly not made for space marines. Who has full awareness check? We all failed, besides our tech marine. Okay. No, uh, 
Moss Give me succeeded. One Moss character, Sylvester. That, that was I... before we applied the minus 20. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so Moth would have also failed. Right, so let's see. He fell in that pit trap. And then... You hear an audible click, Karnoff. Uh-oh. <laughs> so you can respond to this. Uh, can I attempt to dodge backwards? Yes. Yes. I'm suddenly glad I'm in a pit. <laughs> okay. Any modifiers? Uh, minus 10. I fail. Oh, no. Okay. Let me... Let me get the weapon out. Man, you and explosives. Me and explosives. They go hand to hand. Or almost there of a lack of hand. So it missed. You just see a giant net just fly past you and uh, entangle a tree. And you just hear it burning the tree. Why is Captain Malachius the one springing these traps on us? Not Captain. Uh, that's training mission. He's testing our faith in the Emperor Brothers. It's supposed to be GM. He the, the the net missed. So the net missed, and then who else failed? So you all fail. Except the Tech Marine, yes. Except for the Tech Marine. So Moth. Let's see. It misses you too. So you see another net fall down where you were supposed to be. And it misses completely. These traps are quite shoddy. They are orc nets. <laughs> and orc mm -hmm. traps. I uh, also failed awareness. Oh, you did? Okay. Uh, My affairs, negative 10. Here's dodge. No, you're not dodging anything. Huh. You just don't notice the traps falling around your brothers. Just very narrow minded then. Yeah, you're focused on. You're just like kind of like walking around. You just you you uh go ahead do a another awareness check to see if you hear those nets. So they're pretty a little bit loud. Modifier. Your standard modifier for awareness. I think you guys get what plus twenty off the bat. Yep, for being a space marine. Yeah, there you go. You don't hear wow. shit. Wait, I hear it. How did Neil Tyson and then Domingo get? Completely no, no. opposite degrees of success. Yeah, you, you hear you hear those as those nets uh, hit the tree in the ground, kind of like sizzle and burn into the the tree in the ground. No, no, Domingo failed his awareness. No, I know he didn't. I'm talking about Neil oh, Tyron. Okay. I imagine he just sees it happening around everybody. Yeah, um, he would see it and he would hear it because like one landed in. Uh, near where, uh... Both was. Failed. Hey, right. what are you guys doing now at this point? Well, would hey, I... What? Would I have the knowledge to know that the nets are corrosive? Since they're sizzling? Do you tech use, or... Xeno's lore, or... Uh, I'll do Xeno's lore. Seems... Seems like the most we, reasonable we have, thing. Actually, it would we probably be Zeno's floor. Yes. Oh, yeah, I got it. Brothers, it appears yeah. that these are corrosive nets. You do not want them to what attack nets? you. There are nets? Yes. <laughs> it's yeah, part of the, the traps. The... <laughs> well, be careful of flying nets. Also, be careful of pitfalls, like the one I discovered. <laughs> and I would like to try and climb out of such pitfall. I reach Fine, my I reach my hand down into the pit to uh, assist. Uh, He's ten meters down. Yield mug's character. Oh, should okay. be able to pull him out. Yeah, you should be able to pull him out. If he kind of climbs up a little bit, and, yeah, no difficulty. So no check. Uh, you can do a climb check. Give yourself a plus twenty. 
I'll do an acrobatics check to see if I can grab Dust. his arm. <laughs> yeah, so your guy kind of runs up the side a little bit and grabs his hand. Um, but yeah, so back to you, Tesseract. So your character would know, based off also this, uh, the, the guardsman told you and what you know of, that these nets would chew through your armor. Oh, so you do boy. Not, you do not wish to be entangled by these things. Brothers, these nets, they're, uh, they're very effective against our marine armor. We need to tread lightly. Uh, if only we were wearing terrestrial armor. We really chose the wrong armor set for this. No, 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 no. It's, it's, they, 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 it's, it's I, I know, I was using a plain okay. words there, Tom. Oh, okay. Off of our marine armor. If only we'd use terrestrial armor instead. Right. <laughs> But yeah, the the net has entangle and cor corrosive. I couldn't find the stats for it. I know it does like a toughness check or something against you and reduces your toughness over time. Oh, wow. Oh. Similar to toxic. Similar to toxic. So like, I like, that's interesting. Probably in another book. Like, the, I, I don't have it, though. But So, mm -hmm. can I potentially, like, roll tech use to see if I can find these traps and defuse some of them? Yeah, go for it. All right, Steve modifier. There. Minus 10. All right. What, what'd you say, uh, d dude? Or to see if they're uh, net throwers. Right. Oh, I rolled a 10. You got a an, uh, 10? Um, you're looking at this. You're looking at the how this stuff is constructed. You don't know how it really works. Uh, you do an awareness check real quick for me, too. And all, all right. you can do awareness since you're all in the surface area, too. Modifier. Everyone do. Uh, minus 10. Uh-oh. You don't see it. He uh -oh. doesn't see it. Shout Turn out off. to Moth for rolling in 95. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, so you three oh, minus, minus ten, as in like uh, deduced from the base plus twenty, or minus ten flat, as in like minus, minus ten in addition to our base plus twenty. Yeah, minus ten okay. flat to your well, base twenty. I didn't oh, do that, in that right. case, oh no, I still failed. My right. Zero point. So, anyways, uh, you three, as you guys looking at these traps and how they're set up, you see that there's red rocks set up in various places. So, hey, if we so. look for the red rocks, we'll know that there's a trap there. Or something I guess, suspicious. I guess we should uh, let our tech marine investigate them. I want to... Uh, I want to throw a frag grenade at one of the red rocks while we're a safe distance away to see what happens. Okay. So, do I'll do a two-hit roll. Oh no! Oh my God, a ninety-nine is a frag. Yeah, that's not good. I would like to dodge. Yeah, you throw the grenade. It lands on the rock. It explodes. The rock comes flying back at you. Do you wish to dodge? Yep. Okay. Yep. No, I take it head on. Oh God. And it smacks you in the face, knocking you to the ground. Oh, we all should. Okay. You just, watch, you just watch this as it happens. Leaves a nice dent in your helmet, too. Do all of us need to dodge? No. It was, no, just, it was just the me. one red rock. Yeah, it was just the one red rock. <laughs> Leaves a dent. In the there's, a, there's a giant dent in his helmet. But we brothers, all so I believe we anyway, should. We all failed. Yeah, you all jumped out of the way because you didn't know what was going to happen. All, as far as you guys are concerned, <laughs> the rock responded to what you're doing. I feel for a failed dodge rolls. I feel like we just oh. jumped all into each other instead. Created a dog pile. Uh, let's see what kind of check you do for this. Let's see. I'm trying to think. I jumped in do. front of our tech marine trying to protect him. 
Can you do a intelligence check on this? Said everyone? Just you. The one that got hit in the head. Okay. <laughs> it's the magic rock again. Okay. You deduced that a rock flew and hit you in the head. Good job. Brothers, I've deduced that a rock flew and hit me in the head. <laughs> hmm. One may surmise that it was caused by a grenade explosion <laughs> in close proximity to it, too. Brothers, I don't believe we should throw any more grenades at these rocks. Your logic is sound, Tech Marine. <laughs> Agreed. I'm not in agreement. <laughs> Let's maybe you and just be aware of uh, black and red rocks and steer clear of them. Though it is concerning that a rock managed to dent a power armor. So it was a one powerful rock then. That is indeed curious. Quick, take out the other rock we found. Is it similar? <laughs> Put that together. It's a black rock. So we are guys doing with it. <laughs> you throw a rock at the rocks. <laughs> pull, pull a grenade first. <laughs> I'm sorry, Apothecary. I couldn't help myself. Is, is, the, is the red rock uh, intact? Yeah. Perfectly fine. Fits fits in the palm of your hand. Is nice there, size rock. Is there uh, like any radiation coming off of it like the other rock that we've acquired? So you're scanning it for radiation, so yeah. I guess tech use and tech marine, see so if we can scan what it is. Alright. All of us can do tech use. Ah, okay, then all you can do is scan well, it. Well, anyone training want. it can do tech use. Yeah, because you have your helmet, you can probably scan it for that. Yeah, go for it. It, it be rock. <laughs> it, yeah, you deduce that it's a red rock. Uh, Neil Tyron deduces it is slightly radioactive, similar to black rock, but uh, slightly higher than the black rock. All right, I convey this info oh, yeah. to the Marines. Yeah, uh, yeah, Domino, uh, same thing. To uh, assuage my curiosity, could you please scan some not red or black rocks and maybe some of the trees and see if we don't pick up the same level of just baseline radiation? All right, so I can scan for that. I just want to know if, you know, this radiation is normal for the area, or if this is unique to these rocks. I would do that on my cartograph, right? No. Cartograph yeah. is just for finding your way. Okay. Right, so you just, you would scan with your helmet, uh, like, yeah, like you same way you did tech use. Okay. Scan. Tech use, give me three tech uses, I'll tell you. So with all your rolls and you're looking around, there is a baseline radiation that these two rocks, they're slightly elevated compared to the background, but not by much. It is I think, noticeable. I think we should try and look for these radioactive rocks and avoid them. Could you, Tech Marine, set up uh, or adjust your aspects to account for such radiation spikes? I can try. That might help us evade such traps. Uh, and potentially find uh, our targets if they're using these rocks as uh, construction materials. So I would like to tune the aspects to the radioactive frequency of these rocks. Yep. Uh, three, three tech pieces. All right. My, uh, give yourself a minus 20. Oh, yeah. Let me do that. Well, the first, one's first one is... Yeah. Can, can we also use the previous rock that we picked up to uh, have it to the baseline? Yeah, as long as we have minus 20 rather than minus 60. Wait, did I get the... You, you got it. Yeah, you're able to... to yeah, it was okay. a plus minus 20, so you get that one. Yeah, up to 50 meters you can see that. Or wherever your vision is, I guess. Yeah, wherever you can see, you can probably scan for that. Okay, so... I'm going to be doing that as we move. Okay. So you're Something looking, are you scanning around these. now? Yep. Okay. So as you're scanning around, uh, there is, let's see, where's that? Yeah, there is uh, lots of those signatures all around you. And some of them are in the trees too. 
Oh, you must tread trees. carefully, brothers. Hold, hold on there, Tech Rain. If they're in the trees, we might be able to use this to pinpoint the orcs wearing rocks on their heads. Guns up, brothers. Brothers are in the trees. Point out their locations, Tech Marine. We'll shoot them down. Brothers are in the trees. I am God the Lorax. I speak for the trees, and those trees are speaking <laughs> orkies. <laughs> I guess do another tech use to to lock onto a signature that you All can right. find in the tree. All right, modifier. Oh, uh, plus plus thirty. Okay, so I it's gonna be. Also have a motion sensor too for my okay. weapon. Hey, uh, there is indeed about three signatures in that tree above you guys, and you're able to. You can relay that information to your group. Yep, I do and that. Brothers, there's Brothers. something up in this tree. Brothers at the ready, aim and fire for effect. All right, go ahead, deal your damage there, Hillmug, and then, dude, you can use your motion sensor. Damage or uh, shot? Or it's it's the shot. motion predictor. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Am I getting any um, modifiers to this attack? Uh, plus twenty. Well, full auto. That's a plus. I four. still failed even with the plus twenty. Okay, you guys are blasting that tree away. Ansius, you're blasting it. Go ahead, deal damage. Same with you, Dominguez. And then, uh, Carl, let's, let's do this one at a time at least. I stay still. You just watch. Oh, I see what happened here. Okay. Yes. Ignore that first one. I think. Hold on. Ancius, is that all the damage you're going to no, deal with? No, I'm... I was using that uh, script that was made for us. Ah. Uh, and just seeing what... Uh... So that was just four dice, but just all combined, combined into one shot. And Moth, what are you doing? So you're that didn't thing? work how I thought it was going to. It, it okay. works per shot. So, yeah, okay. Yeah. It just yeah. automatically does the additional dice roll for tearing damage. Yep, so there's the first shot now for 30. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. With, with, you know, an additional hit. Uh, uh, the second one is 20. Third one's 20. Got it off. Fourth one's 20. And then I got at least one extra. No, two, uh, no just one extra hit. For another 28. And that is my shot. So ignore the 44, but everything below that is... Is what it is. So the you're uh, you can make an extra shot, stuff. right? Right. There's three possible targets out there. So you're pumping all your damage into one target. Or are you trying to spread it out to among the three? Or I'm gonna spread it out among the three. Okay. Um, so you also have target... plus ten too, so you can probably do a one more hit chance. Yeah. The first one you hear a grunt. That was the fifth bullet. Yeah. The first one you kind of hear like a like a a grunt, got a little grunt, kind of like that. Uh, second one. You, uh, sounds like a sploosh, like you're not sure what it was. The last one, kind of the same sound. And then who else is, who else is shooting? I'm shooting, I haven't dealt damage just yet. I'm just waiting till Ancius is done. All right, go ahead, do your thing. Yeah, I'm done. I already shot and missed. Whoa. Yep, you hear, you hear kind of the similar thing. Ah, sploot, sploot. And then out of the tree falls, on the first one, falls that gorilla-like creature you saw the, the first time. And then the other stuff, it's like uh, tree debris and and like a very viscous green liquid and vines and all sorts of things and uh, branches from the tree. Brothers, I think I have eviscerated that. <laughs> So, so the three targets, only one body fell. 
Mm-hmm. Jesus. So that means we have only obliterated one. I would like to check the body to ensure that, in fact, it was an orc. Okay. Uh, what would that be? Awareness? No, it would be awareness. Perception, right? Okay. I believe that's what perception... Or awareness is... I mean, I'm going over to the body and there, touching it, evaluate. removing any kind of loose clothing, such as a disguise, but I will make this check you wish me to make. Um, yeah, there's I do. There, so there's an awareness. evaluate skill as well. Would this be awareness, then? Yeah, just do awareness. Search you, and you're evaluate. To, All right, search... Uh, I guess I'll do search. Search seems appropriate. Yeah, search. Any bonus or a penalty? Uh, plus 20. Nope. Not an orc, guys. We shot an actual gorilla. You want to use my fate point to re-roll that? If you really want to spend a fate point on this, I can. Hey, uh, so I was going to search with you. You can, you can keep searching. Or we could... Let, let, how about maybe someone mm. else also search this thing instead of just me? Yeah, I'll you search can as well. The gorilla at the same Save our you... fate points. Oh my god. <laughs> We shot a gorilla, guys. I think I got it. Aaron, as, as you guys are gutting it and moving stuff, it is just one of the native creature gorillas. You don't see an orc like you did the last one. It's just a gorilla. It's even the book casualties. We're monsters. So even the guys who succeeded, it's just a gorilla. That's correct. Okay. But it was... It what is, the, what is the weight Did of I one do? gorilla's life against a hundred orcs? Is it wearing Does a Does it have a black rock on its head? So what are you doing searching as well? Karnoff? I was looking at the at the orc and just looking whether it's well, whether it's, it's, it's a gorilla. Orc or gorilla. No, yeah. it's just the gorilla. You're able to verify what uh, Tyron said. It is a gorilla. You guys got it. Disembowel so, it. So I want to go inspect the green liquid that fell down and see okay. what the heck that was. Heck yes. All right. Oh, man. That's a fail. You're not, you're not able to discern what it is, really. You just see, like, uh, organic material in front of you. A score of 87 and still fails. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so I rolled a 95. Yeah. With this information, what are you guys doing? You guys still searching? Well, I, I was saying, what, was there a, a black or red rock? Well, actually, our apothecary can check that because that's technically blood. Our apothecary can make a test as well. Well, the, the rock is not blood. but No, okay. I mean the blood. The green mm. stuff. Michael checks yeah. on, the, on, on the gorilla. Well, not on the grill, on the on the stuff. We're spending, right? dead. We're spending so much time on this. <laughs> yes, but that's what RPGs are for. Yeah, <laughs> you're about a you're about a minute into this investigation because you're you're scanning for targets. You're deducing if they're if these are orcs or not because they can ambush you, as you saw with yes. uh, Yelmug. Previous. You do not want to be hit by those nets because they will possibly kill you. Yes. So a moth made a uh, a Medicaid check on the blood. On the blood, uh, it's just the blood. So you deduce it is that native creature uh, blood. That is. So, so that green stuff that came down—that is also oh, the, native creature blood. Oh, that green stuff that came down is what he's checking. Okay. Uh, yeah. That—that yeah. that is. Uh, you're able to deduce that it came from uh, the tree, from an organic sack of some kind. It is like a sappy material. So tree. Okay. Cool. Tree sap. Tree sap. Nice. Yep, it's it's green. It's viscous. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's from beehives, he's not out, trees. He's, right, he's able to deduce <laughs> that it is it is uh, corrosive stuff. Oh, mm -hmm. so oh. the tree sap is corrosive. Mm. Right. Be, yeah, be careful. It, it probably can't hurt you guys, but if refined, it could it could possibly be, pose a danger. But again, so there were no red or black rocks. And you guys are who searched for that? You guys use search for that? I've been I've been searching I for mean, it continually. Uh, where's your roll for that? Uh, it's gonna be tech use. I, mean, we can, I can make another search roll for some black rocks. I was just looking to see if the the gorilla was wearing a rock or not. You didn't see a visible one, though. 
Uh, well, I'd be checking out my scanner, so my scanner would pick it up. So you're you're scanning the the gorilla and the sap. I'm just scanning everything around me, seeing where all the rocks right. are at. Right, as you scan this disemboweled gorilla, you notice that kids are probably disemboweled a lot. Uh, that the <laughs> bones have that same radioactive signature that those black rocks did. Oh, very, okay. very similar to it. Brothers, this is disconcerting. So and not there is no one in the gorilla. We would make that clear. You've yeah. disemboweled it. Our apothecary yeah. has an idea. Where the bones of our gorilla? And what, is, what gorilla? are you doing? Uh, well, we're waiting right now to see what the, the sister has to say. What happens oh. when the sap hits one of those rocks? Well, throw a rock into it. I pick up the nearest uh, red rock and I throw it into the sap. See it go plop into the sap. Nothing. Nothing. I pick up a black rock and throw it into the sap. You too also see it go plop. Okay, good sap. job on uh, We're committing destroying <laughs> the xenotech. <laughs> committing science. We're doing, more, we're doing more science than fighting. <laughs> uh, we are we're uh, evaluating the threats. I, I get it. I understand. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, so, what we've learned so far is that the bones of the gorillas emit the same radiation as the rocks that the orcs use. So, our safe bet is to still just shoot anything in the trees that's irradiated, gorilla or not, because it could still also be an orc in disguise. Yeah, that changes um, nothing. Yeah, that changes nothing. We still shoot everything <laughs> in the trees. Uh, but we don't want to be under said trees when we shoot them because otherwise it would rain down that sap material on us, possibly killing us, or at least damaging our armor. Well, uh, it's in its unrefined form, as Boko said, so it's it probably... It's but it's, it's, safer, it's safer than other stuff from the nets. Are you guys going to examine okay. those nets at all? It's still probably it's better still... not to stand under the trees when shooting up, so shoot at trees hard, away from uh, us. Another under thing, I know Earth... Another thing is that they can take their refined sap and put it back, making a sap bomb. We still want to stay away from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys going to check the nets? Those, those the nets still, still corrosive, they're still though? Oh, they're still sizzling in the ground in the tree, and they're just making their way through them. As Damn. you're looking at them. Tech Marine, would you like to examine them? Uh, yeah. Tech use, oh, right? Didn't. That's why he was. That's how he determined that it would hurt our armor. Yeah, I already, I already did determine yeah. that. He, he wrote Xenobiology, biology, not tech use. Yeah, he did. Oh, that's yeah, fair. He, yeah, yeah. So he does know that. This, uh, Sorry. Okay, so with that, with this additional knowledge of the sap, he's able to deduce that they're refining this sap material uh, into their weaponry. And that uh, in the refined state, it is extremely dangerous ah. to, 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 to people, to vehicles, to a bunch of other stuff. So you do we not need want to, to secure stuff. a sample of this uh, refined corrosive. Can we uh, get a proper enough sample from the nets? Nick Rain, or maybe me. I can give it a try, but I will fail. Yeah, uh, so I can. But we need to acquire a sample of this because this is one of our objectives. I'm gonna roll a tech use and see if there's any way that we can like, I don't know, put this in a container or something, where it can't hurt us, and then possibly send it up to the eggheads for review. Okay. So modifier on that tech use. Minus 20. All right. Ooh, four. Uh, so if you're able to have a containment unit, uh, you wouldn't have one available here, and you're unsure if it's available at the the base nearby. If you a containment unit, you could store this. Brothers, so I think if we get a proper container, we can uh, send this back for analysis. 
yet the war barge would have access to that. So, he guys going to summon the the guys down from above and send it to you guys. Yeah. So I believe they can do airdrops. I mean, if they can airdrop something to us, then yeah, mm -hmm. let's have that. Let's them. Let's have them do that. Yep. Uh, ETA uh, ten minutes. They said. Cool. All right. We got plenty of time. We don't have time left in this mission, so we can wait ten minutes and wait for a, uh, a supply drop of canisters to uh, store so stuff. Yep. I'll do awareness check as you guys are setting up. You guys set up a defensive position around the area. Yep. Okay. Uh, any modifiers to this? Well, minus twenty. Oh, okay. well, I super failed then. So, Karnoth and Blood Angel Zeal, uh, you hear in the di distance faint, faint roars. You mean Ansius? Yeah, Ansius, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Oh, let's see, Ansius. No, oh, Karnoth fell at Ansius. No, no, no. Ansius, 3.5. Yeah, you, you two hear faint roars up in the trees. In a distance. Like wild roar or gorilla roar? Your character is unsure. But you know mm. it's a roar. It's a, it's an animalistic roar of some kind. Could do Zeno's check to Zeno's figure out what kind of roar Knowledge it is. check. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Use this pos possibly an orc. Filled by one point. Uh, let's see. Zeal. Of, yeah, the Pothicura. He's able to deduce that it... it Possibly, is some of those gorilla-like creatures or a, a creature similar to it on this world? Because there's more than. But it one sounds of large, though. Larger, yeah, possibly. He does. He, there's not enough information for your character to deduce <laughs> how large this thing is. You just know that it's it's audible enough. You hear it. Mm. And, Brothers, be and, careful. There seems to be more than just the gorillas and orcs here. Or rather, there might be some larger, more aggressive gorillas here. I would be surprised if there weren't. <laughs> Let's hope they don't office. employ guerrilla warfare tactics. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, tactics specifically designed to fight gorillas. Correct. <laughs> they could be alpha gorillas for all we know. Cool. Uh, well, uh, awareness ourselves around. Uh, point up at the trees. Shoot anything that tr moves in the treetops that's not directly above us. And then we, we wait for the drop pods. Oh, what was that? Yeah, what was that, Thomas? If you see it in your vision, you see it. So. Uh, okay. Uh, well, th I saw a radial pink circle emanating from the southwest brothers <laughs> oh no that, that, was <laughs> that was a misclick okay saying token wise oh no but i uh i actually do see a whole bunch of stuff around us though brothers we're under attack <laughs> i see nothing see uh Here. your character was and here. Yep, you would see just two giant giant orcs with giant choppas just staring at you. Oh, they're not moving. Uh they are behind some rocks and a tree. Yeah, like this one. Did here. They... Oh they're they're staring at us. Okay. Yeah, they're staring. Can we shoot the tree to drop the corrosive sap yep. on them? Yeah, with the range. Hey, if you can hit him with range, go for it. Make your attack. Minus, uh, minus 50. Uh-uh. I ain't hitting that. <laughs> Holy crap. That's close. So, let's see, let's see what you get. 93. So, you're going da 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 and you're just hitting that big tree. Which one are you targeting? The one on the left or one on the right? I can't even see where these guys Maybe. are. Oh, you can't see him? Yeah, me neither. Can't see the tokens on the map. Well, good. So only one person can see him then. That's the only Oh, so it's just me. Well, wouldn't he be I relaying that sure. info? That's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's why... Yeah, so that would account for why your guy's missing. So you're just hitting randomly into the forest. Ah, like from, uh... 
Yep, 95, 100 jam. He didn't jam. He's good. But I missed oh, the hell out of my shot. <laughs> yeah, you just fire into the forest, essentially, like, uh, what was that, by the Predator? Like that. Oh, they're all around us. <laughs> and then, uh, no, Captain no, Jim. brother. They're lower than that. They're on the ground level. <laughs> they're about 150 <laughs> meters out. Well, uh, let's see. The orc to the left, he's actually um, just coming out of that big tree. There's a hole in that tree uh, that's laying flat down. There's a door structure of some sort. He popped out of that. He's looking at you guys. The other one is in the open, yes. He's kind of hiding behind that rock a little bit. Cool. I would like to take an aim action and equip... Uh, uh, well, not equip. I would like to take an aim action. A full round aim action. Okay. And if he's not going to do anything, then I would like to unload uh, into that orc on the left. Okay. Minus uh, 50. Uh, why 50? Just out of curiosity. Uh, the, the density of the jungle, the distance of the target... Like so, uh, my I'm going to use Kraken Rounds, which increases my uh, range so that he would be in range. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, density, uh, density of jungle, difficulty of shot. So no longer... Okay, but you said range before. So if out taking no, no, no. range into it, now what is the modifier? No, 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 the range... Yeah, but the range of the target, okay, so uh, minus 30. The range, range okay. situation fixed. Sweet. So the difficulty of just hitting the target through a force would be the, the negative 30. All right. So a plus 10 all in all. Because mm -hmm. full auto and a full aim action. Okay. One hit. <laughs> Excellent. Got him. Do your damage. All right. Let me, let me find my crack in ammo so I know what I'm adding to this. Uh, okay. Let me see how much. Not. Right, Twenty-three damage with eight penetration. Aren't you doing full auto? I did, but I only got. Oh, you're right. One degree success is two hits. That's correct. Thank you. All right. So twenty-three and twenty-five, both with eight penetration. Second. How much damage did you do? Uh, twenty three and twenty five, both with eight penetration. Oh yeah, he's super dead. Nice. Black black. He just, he just, yeah, he just thing go. Burp. One down, brothers. We only have the other one to our southeast. Yeah, he approximately takes one hundred fifty meters. Yeah, he takes. He takes the half. Hunt him down. Do not let him mourn the others. Are, are you um, scanning along the way for traps or are you guys just full on chasing him? I would not recommend doing that at Puffy We do need to stop him, but yeah, full full blind running. I mean, I think maybe 100 meters ahead and then stop Okay. and try and get him in sight. So do your 100 meters. Brothers, I don't think that it's a good idea with the traps. It would be quite embarrassing to get outsmarted by orcs. Yes, but we also don't want this orc to warn others of our presence. That's what they want. That's why I said only a hundred meters. Okay. Very short distance. I can see him again. Very well. I'll follow the path of carry. Okay. You guys caught up to him. Let's see. And then hold up. Let's one second. Oh man. I'm pinging his location, by the way. Yep. Okay. For those who can't see him. Uh, Sylvester Zeal. You. Were you looking along your way as you're going through and everything? Or are you just blindly chasing, right? Okay. Chasing. Oh no! Well, he can dodge, dodge, dodge that. You can dodge, dodge it. Dodge that. Yeah, minus uh, minus thirty on that one. Okay. Uh, let's it's see. Take... Oh. Fate damage. point. Fate point. Fate point. 
Okay. okay. It goes through armor. Is that correct? It, uh, it hasn't been or it's it's corrosive. It's over time, so uh, he has some time. But it would eat up his armor. Uh, four penetration. All right, reroll on acrobatics. That, would, that wouldn't regenerate either, so he'd just be losing armor. Oh. Okay, so you you dodge that. You ninja jump out of that. But you hear it. And as you're doing that, it uh, the guys behind you see that. Second. I saw that ridge mark. Me too. <laughs> no, I was trying to move stuff. Sorry. Yeah, no, we know what's your. We know what you're doing. We right. You're doing. We're springing the ambush. Hello, gorilla. What's the range on that uh, anti-plant missile? Oh, I don't remember. I I'm not going to use it here, but I'm just curious. I think, it's I think it was like a cell launcher. Just so, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know where it is in the books, or what book it was in. Ten meter, uh, 10 meter radius. radius sounds correct. That's tiny. Oh, you mean blasting? Oh, uh, that's right. Okay, so go ahead, roll for. I guess it's a initiative after that. All right, uh, let me check. Jeez, what was the? Uh, check pins in the Death Watch chat. And then the uh, 1d10 plus. Be sure you have your token selected while you do this. And then the plus whatever is your... Um, your uh, agility bonus, yeah. Yeah. I, cool. I also gave you a macro for that, just so you know. Yep. You. There we go. Awesome. Yes. I can find it. <laughs> Fix these. Mm -hmm. Fix that guy. Token. Sweet. And I'll do... So one D ten plus uh, their modifier. Yes. Okay. They got a nine. You need to click on the token first. I got it. Okay, uh, Domingos, go. All right, so where are are they? Right here. Uh, so with with Sylvester Zeal, with that trap being sprung, uh, you can uh, you guys can vaguely see that there's two two of, two of them in the tree, two of something in the tree. This tree. That yeah, that there's one. Something. Okay. Um, yep. They're on that right tree, there's one girl as well. Yep. Yay. Well, then I will uh, shoot through the tree, uh, shoot at the trees, trying to hit anything that's on it. Okay. Uh, minus 30. I I have a native plus 30 hit chance since I have mon uh, motion protector and. Yep, that's fine. It's, it's Other bad. stuff, so it's really plus zero in total. Yep. Question, how thick are the trees? Pretty densely thick. Minus 30 thick. Minus God. 30 thick. <laughs> uh, dense enough to where, like, uh, it's it's very difficult to get a clear shot on stuff. But you guys... Uh, I, was, I was more thinking of, like, the, the bark with, or, like, the tree. Like, it's... Okay. Oh! Oh, it's I'm a mass... Uh, like a redwood. So if you think, like, big redwoods, like, really... Mm. Kind of like massive trees, like it's uh, with a lot of dense underbrush. Yes, mm -hmm. that you're going through. Because in a normal redwood forest, there's not a lot of underbrush. Mm -hmm. Okay, I missed. 
Okay. You and that's splat. my turn. Yep, you splat the tree. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, and then uh, Sylvester's eel, go. <laughs> okay, just go ahead and make your moves. Augurable. So you're saying we should see stuff with the scanner? Yeah. Or are you saying yeah. arguable? Arguable. As in you could argue. Arguable? Yeah. No, arguable. I, I presume he means like you can just punch or puncture through. I attack! It's on, on the top of a tree. Yeah. Tree. The tree oh. knocked it down. Yeah. There, knock it down. there we go. Uh -huh. Okay. Roll your attack. Knock down a redwood. Okay. Yeah. That's why he has a breaching arm. Good. <laughs> da, 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 da. You make a giant hole in a big tree. Well, 3.4 degrees success, and then he damaged it. Yeah, yes. yes. But still, it's, it's practically 50 damage. That's, that's no, amazing. You're, that's you're drilling in the tree. Okay. Yeah, but Anything he else? can only do it once. He, he, he can't parry. Yeah, yeah. We fixed oh. that. Oh. Still. Yeah. Still. Still. No. That's uh that's a melee weapon he's stacking the tree with. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Fancy a skill. Alright. Uh I'm gonna full auto with my uh Oh god. I'm gonna move, do my free uh ten foot move. Our 10 okay. meter move uh, from the squad awesome sauce bonus that we have. Um, oh, it's a 14 meter move now. Cool. So that is not a lot of movements. Mm -hmm. That was a full move. Cool. Uh, and then I'm going to full auto um, with Kraken rounds. So at this uh this target right that he uh at this guy in the open. Okay, yeah. Uh let's see. Well not open in air quotes. Uh so minus thirty on that shot. Okay. Just imagine a very dense underbrush like you're talking about. And you can see the target. It'd be technically in the open. Your bullet's not going to be stopped by anything. But it's just yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah hard, hard to see him, yeah. Cool. Uh... You blast into the forest. <laughs> cool. So, uh... You want to fate point it? Sure, yeah, I'll point this one. Okay. Plus 10. Yep. So it'd be minus 20 instead of minus it'll just, 30. It would just give me a zero modifier. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. Four hits. There we go. Perfect. Hit Perfect. You want me to roll damage or just call this one dead? Roll damage. Let's see if you can kill this guy in one shot. I think you can. That well, I did two bullets from the last one, so probably. And this one's four. Yeah, they have like 45 HP, so they're not like super tough. So. Okay. Well, I also have eight penetration on each of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, the orcs have no armor anyway, so you don't need penetration. Not needed. Yeah, oh, yeah he's done weird armor. Yeah, he's super dead. I'm not gonna righteous for you that last one. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste bullets. Right. Da -da 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 -da. You make that guy. Did you see a fine? Go ahead and describe. If you want to describe killing him? Uh, I mean, I just uh, go up the body. Uh, I I had aimed low by accident, and I uh, just let the recoil trace him up his body. So it could, like leg shot, hip shot, uh, sternum shot, head shot. Uh, as he then, after a, a moment of each impact, explodes in each of those locations. Nice. So he just. A delayed explosion up his body. So are you guys checking for traps as you're moving through this forest? 
in combat. Is that our combat ended, by the way? Or is there still more? There's oh, there's still the no more. I'm okay. just asking, like, just, just, just be aware that's still a thing. So, you have to be a free action. You guys check for traps. Oh, it's a free action. Cool. Then. Yeah, I'm going to make it a free action for you guys. No, so there's I'm no sure reason guys, not to. Yeah, I'm sure you guys want to be aware of not stepping onto shit. Yeah, the two trees. There. I put a blue ring around both of the orcs. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's why you did man. that. Yeah, yeah, that's why I put them there, yeah. so we could see what we were talking about. Because I couldn't, where I was before, I couldn't see the other orcs. I just put a ring around the yeah, in location. Yeah, I barely could see them as well. Fine. Like, that's even fine. where the one closest to me is, because of the, where that shadow is, he's, like, hiding in the shadow. Yep. Same. So I can barely see the token itself. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the enemy's turn. Uh, no, that's not. That's incorrect. I don't know why that added Termagant. Yeah, basically it's beaten targets in our head. It's, yeah. it's the best of zeal. Uh, you did your exactly check there, not. Yelmug? Or, yeah, Yelmug, you can do your check now. Oh, oh my awareness uh, check? Yeah, yeah, just just before the end of turn, so you can. Uh, so sure you're standard, being... standard, uh, like what? Any? What's the modifier? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Minus thirty since these are. Oh Jesus! So traps. minus ten. Cool. Okay. Nope, Phil. Okay, cool. Hopefully, I wasn't in an area with a trap anyway. Well, I mean, is it really minus thirty? We know what to look for. Mm-hmm. You're also in combat. Uh, that's so. fair. Anyway, okay. uh, I'm done with my turn. Er, didn't the message you already go? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what. Hold on, this thing it. He, he hit a tree. Yeah, he hit a tree. What is this thing? Yeah, but what is this thing? Do? Why? Why did give my? Okay, it's gonna be nine. I don't. Why no, it's it... correct. They're up next. No, I know, Wait, but no. it, it modified yeah. the numbers for some reason. Because yeah. enemies had a roll of nine. Demangus. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so enemies are going. Let's see. Yeah, but like after the enemies, it should be uh, the attack yeah. and me. But now it's like the new turn. So that's like the next is going to be... Well, no, it's weird. Well, anyways, if the enemies had a nine, they would go now, and then the tech marine, and then uh, yep. uh, Karnoth. So, yeah, so turn order is just being fucking... So yeah. that's the deal. You, uh, your drilling kind of startled that orc up in the tree, so he's like, ah, fuck, and took a shot at you with his <laughs> pistol. <laughs> uh, the other guy, let's see. Let's see his range. You are just out of range. He's going to move on a tree limb. About, about ever so much. And then he's going to make... Is that the, is that the Magus? Yeah, the Mango. Yeah, the Mango. Okay, so what are throw... you doing, you sogging kid? Yep, he's going to throw a trap at you. I dodge it. Modify? Yeah, uh, uh, minus 20. Oh no! Oh jeez! I can I do a fate point on that? You go for it. Yes. Oh, you big. And that resets it to zero, yeah. right? Get him! You, you oh. narrowly dodge that oh. shit. It hits the ground in a splash, <laughs> and you just see that thing sizzle in the ground, bury bury itself in the ground. Okay, and now it is your turn. So you can return the favor. Can I return the favor? It's no, With, it's Tech uh, Marine's turn. It's Tech Marine's oh, turn. Oh, is it? Right is it? Why is it not showing? Oh, you? yeah. Yeah, it's because all the That's why we were mentioning the ten turn orders being weird. Again, yeah, yeah. What the heck? I didn't do anything. All I did was, like, uh, sort it. That's so weird. It should be my turn next, and then Karnoth, and then. Dude on the run, I think. Yes. And then Domingo. Yeah, it even added mercenary guards. I didn't have. I cleared this. Let's see. No, we don't see any mercenary guards. 
Oh my god, yeah, it is fucked. Uh, reset? Yeah, I'm gonna reset. reset. I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna clear everyone. You guys know your numbers, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. That was really weird, because, like, I know that was all fine, and the next it wasn't fine. Why did I do 15? It should be 14. You just really wanted to go first. No, that's... <laughs> <laughs> you just want to ensure you're already going first first, miss. Yeah. Oh, I need to select a thing. Got it. There Hold we on, go. I, can, I think I can paste the uh, necro right in, in the thing. One moment. I just did a roll 14 at tracker thing. That age Since I knew my seven, number. But whatever. Yeah, you can do that as well, yeah. That age should be seven, but it doesn't matter because. Uh, sorry, don't don't mind that. That's, well, you can uh, click on your own initiative inside the trim tracker and change it. Yes, you can. Can I? Yeah. Just ah, okay. Here we go. Perfect. Mm. You should be able to do it too, there, Conroth. Just make sure you, when you're rolling those initiatives, you have your token. I already rolled my initiative. It's okay. Okay, I'll do it for you. I'm no, my, my initiative is on the thing already. It's it's there. I'm just trying to send in the oh, okay. uh, the, the template. There you go. It's in the different channel. Okay. Oop. <clears throat> Uh, I'm really confused what it's doing now. Okay. Okay, there we go. All Pick right. Ring, go. With that version that you just put in the chat, uh, allow us to click the button and not have to have our template selected? You need to still select your template. Oh, okay. Alright, so I'm just barely in range of this guy for a plasma pistol attack, so I'm going to do that. You have a plasma pistol? Well, what? I have the I have the thing that uh, I made when we were back up on the uh, thing. Yes, he crafted it. Yeah. It's on his on his hand or something. Uh, I mean, should set to eighteen again. Yeah, right, we'll just go and jam it. Yeah, minus thirty. Oh god, that would suck. Well, I'm firing at the tree directly in front of me, and I want to oh, see if I can light it on fire. Oh, okay. See if I can light it on ahead. fire, burn them out. So, mine is 30? Oh, no. You're just shooting a tree, so, uh, plus, plus, plus 40. Plus 40? Damn. Okay. You, you're shooting straight at the tree, right? Yep. You're not shooting the enemy? Okay. Yep. So, you blow a big hole in that tree, and it catches fire. Sweet. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, I'm gonna roll damage for shits and giggles. <laughs> no, that that well, definitely help. Righteous fury. Yeah, it's yeah definitely the tree on fire. is technically a Xenos because it's not human. I <laughs> 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 uh, will not allow that. But anyway, no. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I lit the tree on fire. Yeah, it's extremely on fire. Just just a big plasma hole bored through like halfway through the tree, and it's just smoldering. Oh, yeah. And while I do that, I'm going to make an awareness check for traps as a free action. Okay, minus 30. Oh, well, even with minus 30, no recovering that. Okay. <laughs> so I'll keep that in mind next time. So that's the um, negative 9.1 thing. Oh, man. You're going to have fun. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh... All right, so I'd like to make a preemptive awareness check, I guess, as I yep. go in. Uh, modifier minus 30. Oh, what are you doing? You're going to jump into the tree? I'm going to assist uh, Buffy Carey in cutting down that tree. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, do an intelligence check real quick. Or a challenge log check. Lo logic check before you do this. Because your right. character knows the thing is fucking huge. Like, I don't know if you know what a redwood is. 
Yes, but like our tech marine, our apothecary made a huge hole in the tree. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I can just uh, cut down on one of the sides of that hole and make it fall. Not, not likely. Like, uh, oh, sorry, the U.S. They they would they would make giant holes that cars would go through. He did not make that big of a hole. <laughs> so, uh, oh, it's that big. Yeah, it's a redwood. Was well, that like, the German Sherwood that they ha that has the tunnel? All right. Okay. The general fine. Sherwood, uh, red tree has a. You can literally drive your car through the tree. Yep. Uh, <sighs> I think that. I think that finally collapsed or something like that. It it died or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's huge. So, <laughs> Gee, right, I so wonder why. Any, uh, any other Xenos? That's the only two on the trees. Well, it, I, yeah. I don't think it died because there was a giant hole in it. I think it died from disease. Something like that. Wait, you're it's saying it survived cool. after the tunneling? Yeah. Yeah, it was that for 100 years. Well, they, for they decades, did that. it survived with that hole through it. Then it, yeah, cool. it got a disease or a sickness or something and then died. Right. Damn. Huh. Yeah, they're driving Model T to the, the car, man. Uh, let me see. You can, can I... jump into the tree. You can jump into the tree where the orc's at. Uh, what's the range of your jump jump pack? Up? Yes. My range yeah. of my jump pack? Yeah, what's the range of your jump pack? Uh, with my current move, 120. Yeah, you can easily get to that orc up in the tree. All right, I'll 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 get to one. Oh, uh, Moth did make a good point. His auger has a power field, which is designed for breaking structures. Especially yes. large things like that. Right. Yes. As I was saying, he drew he made a big hole. Okay. And Fine. then scared I'll... the orc and he shot at him. So Fine, I'll jump up to the orc. And that's technically that's a charge action. So uh I'm gonna roll for damage here. That's gonna be let me see. Oh wow, the difficulty of getting that orc. You're using jump jet. Uh okay. you don't have to do pod check. Pilot checks anymore, do you? Or you're you're going straight up. You're not going across. Yeah, I'm just going up. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just going up. So with all the things, my base modifier would be plus forty five on that first hit. Okay. So uh, any minus, modifiers? Yeah, minus. It's going to give you a minus twenty. It's, it's kind of difficult. It's kind of up there. All Maybe, right. but you're getting in melee range, so you're not making making it. Stop. Great. I wrote a 97. Nice. Did you do a bot check? You don't do a bot check? No, no, I did a melee check, uh, melee attack, because I'm not, I'm just going up. I'm not doing anything. Oh, but... okay. So 97, so you fly up there, you swing at the orc, you miss, and you fall back down. You're prone on the ground. Got it. And you're right back where you started. You really need to learn how to pilot that thing. <laughs> Dominguez, I'm, go. I mean, I did I did reach it, but I just didn't hit it. Yeah, you but missed him. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. take that, you Fair. stupid arc. Ah! <laughs> you miscalculated the jump. I'll do an awareness check around me to make sure I'm good. And... Oh, right. I, I forgot my awareness check as well. You want to do you that know, first? Yeah, you can do that. This is free action. Right. There you so go. you don't see a trap. So minus, minus minus thirty. Everyone don't forget minus your 30, no? minus thirty. Well, yeah, minus thirty because of the density. Don't of the forget your plus twenty for being a space marine, though. So so yep. it's really negative ten. So uh, I, I so succeed. you would have succeeded on that one. So I oh succeed. okay. Uh, so you don't see any visible traps in your area as you're falling to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so you failed to notice the pitfall, but you landed it. No. Uh, so, Domingus, you know that uh, around that tree, you see it, one trap. This tree on the left. The one you're getting shooting at. There's a there's a trap off to the off to the uh, just to the right of you. And I'll mark gotcha. it. Uh, so just. Just off to the right of that tree, there's a trap there. You just barely notice it. To the right or to the left? Because I just saw a rectangle Our, to the left. Well, right. So your character is aiming downwards, right? So it would be your character's right. Gotcha. So, gotcha. Well, to... um, I keep firing at, at the uh, orc okay. that tried to fire me back. 
Oh, to try to almost murder you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any modifier? Uh, minus, minus 30. Shooting him in the tree. Kind of difficult shot. Kind of like yeah. dead tree. Yeah. And whatever your normal bonuses are to your uh, range, be minus 30 of that. Yeah. So that's three. Oh, you got you still hit him? Oh man. Yeah, yeah, he's super dead. You just see him explode into ball guts. And fall yeah, off. Yeah, take you. that. Nice. And I warn everyone that there's gonna put a trap on the uh, right side of the tree. Right. And that's okay. it for me. Huh? Ansi, let's go. Cool. I'm going to take my free 14 meter move, uh, but before that, I'm going to make my awareness check. Go for it. Yeah, that's with a minus 30, right? Yep. Make your move. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you move? Yep, that's as okay. fast as I can go for a normal full move. Cool. It missed. It just landed <laughs> off to your left. More uh, of those nets. And I obliviously uh, ignored it. Cool. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, God. I did the wrong thing. Oh, man. What happened? I was actually accidentally dragging him around the entire map, and I was trying to rotate him. Oh. Cool. I will shoot up. Uh, well, no, I'll take a a, a full round uh, rounds aim action. Okay. Turn, and that'll be my turn. All right. That's the best deal. I have enemies at eighteen. I'm not understanding why it's doing that. Not a lot. Yeah, it's it's a good sized chunk, but not you're looking at it, you're kind of shaking it, scaring that orc up there, and he's panicking and shooting at you with the pistol. Ah! You can hear him. All right, stop it! And that's all you hear. <laughs> you also hear the tree next to you burning in flames. That's such yes. a beautiful flame. Damn. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, it would uh uh looking at the tree, looking at the damage you did, it would take you literally all day. Just a, a concentrated effort to knock it down with your really? with, with your a power control. fist, it would still take all day. Yeah. I feel right. you're uh not understanding the power of the power fist. You feel uh, some big ass trees. That's a breaching longer, that's not really a power fist. It has an energy field, so at that point, it's a power fist. Uh, okay. <laughs> kind of uh, it's doing 4d10 points of damage. It's a power fist. Okay, so <laughs> it, it would still be more time than it's worth. You could knock it down. Yeah, yeah. And you want an estimated turns? Uh, uh, four turns, you could probably knock it down. If concentrated effort. Oh, that's the smoke? Okay. Someone's throwing smoke. Yeah. I'm having a little bit of fun. Uh, you you can climb up to that guy if you wanted to. We have a climb skill as well, yeah. Right. We you guys base have... trained and climb. Right. Your guy has power armor. You just dig into the tree and climb up that motherfucker. That's an option. <laughs> Oh, that's yes, right. Yes, delicate medical tool. tool that you just use to punch a tree with. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he had a medical tool in his right arm. Okay, cool. Okay, so the enemies go. 
So that guy on the tree, Moth, is going to drop another net on you. And he, he fails horribly. He, 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 as he pulls it out, uh, he kind of snares it on himself. He falls to the ground. You just see like um, him, that net constrict onto him and cut him up tiny bits. <laughs> as, as it's dissolving him. <laughs> oh, man. What a miss. <laughs> That's all the orcs you, you saw around you in the immediate area. And now yeah. you have a burning tree. Yep. Good. Good. We've given an aerial beacon for our dropships. Yeah. <laughs> We're sending the smoke signal. Yeah. Okay. So, Look, that, we uh... We be vigilant, brothers, and was we wait for the drop pods to come, and then we can, uh collect uh, this corrosive nest before we move on and investigate whatever that is. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. So. Dropped off its love payload to you guys. All right, brothers. Let's get these corrosive nets in there. Yes. So you pick them up and you put them in the containment unit. Yeah, using a stick so that we don't uh, cut our hands off. You guys... Oh, I mean, they, they gave you instruments to to pick it up with. Oh, okay. Describe with these words. So they gave you instruments, long, like, uh, very metallic, like, um, rods... I can withstand that for a short period of time. So you guys are just hucking it into the container. And you get about three nets. Yep, and we're going to send that back up to the battle barge for analysis. Oh, it's in the forest with you guys in the containment unit on the ground. That that, oh. that thing literally airdropped it and flew away. It can't land. Ah. You're going to have to have someone extract it. Or hold on to it. It's not like a big containment unit. Large enough... Uh, Someone could put it on their back or put it on their hip. I'll go ahead and put it on my back then. Okay. You do have the giant detect. arm that can carry heavy things with. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I picked it's it up not, with my arm. Not, yeah, it's not super heavy. It's about the size of like a... I don't know. Like a, like a pickle bucket? Yeah, something like that. So it's not, it's <laughs> not super large, super heavy. A pickle bucket? Yeah. It's a five-gallon bucket for those who don't know what a pickle bucket is. Yeah. I figured okay. it was something like that. So, yeah. Roughly about Got that it. size. Well, Excellent. either way, I'm I'm stowing it on my back and moving with it. Right. And it's a technological container, so you, you seal it in a... <laughs> so it ain't going nowhere. Yeah, no, that's all you hear. Carefully make my way back to my brothers. Okay. So you're doing awareness checks along the way? Yes. Ah, it dropped on top of me. Oh, no. I didn't even notice. Okay, so I guess do a three awareness checks as you're going that way. Yep, at the negative 30 yeah. each. Yeah, well, we're not in combat anymore, so... Yep, so that that wouldn't apply, because you'd be concentrated effort looking for these things. How many you want? I mean, I only I walked, like, Just... 100. Yeah. From yeah, one side three. of the tree to the other. Yeah, about three. Okay. Because you're trying to also find these traps, right? I imagine, so you don't step on them. Okay. Uh, you well, see that no one is on. technically a success. Right, but you see no traps along the way. Good. Since you're going back to your brothers, so. Excellent. I see you've acquired their weaponry. Good. Uh... Well, I notice uh, occasionally during this fight that there's a radio ring emanating from that direction. This is all, almost as if the God Emperor himself is telling us to go that way. No, and I, uh, I wish I could tell it not to, to do the ping when I'm doing something. 
Anyways. But yeah. Well, you did you did any say that there was something this way. You, yeah. Yeah, I did. I already I already did. You know the uh yeah, the guards been telling you that there is a uh an orcus infrastructure type thing. They they've assembled um various human uh you know uh vehicles, weapons, supplies, those rocks. Um but they cleared it out, right? Last they checked. And how do you pro propose, sister, we put out this fire? Let's smother it with our bodies. <laughs> <laughs> no, that tree's smoldering pretty darn good. In fact, you guys are starting to get clouded with uh, smoke and everything around you guys. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. We should move in. Yeah, Let's move to the right be... and then south. It would be, this is oh, what God. you guys are... Oh boy. That's what you guys are seeing very rapidly. Well, we do that. Put out that, the fire. that just make it burn even more? Because at that point, it's dead plants, and dead plants burn a lot better than live plants. Through experience. Oh, yeah. yeah. That living plants are harder to burn than dead plants. Yeah, the tree's just smoldering a lot and putting a lot of smoke. And you see a lot of that green, sappy stuff falling as well from that tree. Does the uh, sap anyway, catch on fire and create yes. a nerve gas? Well, there's also, we only have two of those missiles. So I'd rather we use them, like, on the boss <laughs> that we're trying to kill. Yeah. Because we only got two of them, and they don't have that big of a range. I'm sorry, brothers. I didn't mean to start a forest fire. I just wanted to burn out the orc that was up in that tree. Listen, brother. We all have the power in ourselves not to start forest fires, and only <laughs> you can prevent them. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on before this spreads or it gets worse. Anyway, there's a structure to our southeast. Let's proceed that way and with caution. And I recommend east then south just because there's a trap directly right here. Just to the south of this tree. Oh, okay. right. Yep, there so you guys are going you guys are going through the smoke, it's clearing. So. And watch out for traps along the way. Yes. I will be going first. <laughs> Another perfect success. <laughs> You're just luckiest right now. So is that two? The... Wait, wait, wait. Is that two in the row as well? Yeah. <laughs> two, two perfect successes in a row. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. I failed so... my awareness check. I succeeded. Okay, so you get what this. What the hell is this? What the Shoot hell is up. this? Who gets that? Who? There's a thing here. There's a thing ah. here. Oh god, there's more of us. More of them. No. More uh, of us. The, the second marine, as, as he's going through... Uh, there's an orc here, behind us and an orc over here. Yeah, here, here's a loud bang. Bang. And then... Yeah, and, the, and then uh, you get hit. Did I try and dodge? Oh, yeah. And All the right. tech marine gets hit. That's correct. It's probably from that rock that he threw a grenade at again. It's coming back oh, for I revenge. Missed. You gotta hit them in the body, so it doesn't do much. Yeah, it just you just hear ping bounces off you, but it was a trap of some kind. I believe it was a uh Brothers, I believe I was just hit by a makeshift shotgun booby trap. It didn't get through mm -hmm. my armor. And yes, then... well, brother, there's also enemies that are directly behind us. Yes. Yeah, you see, a, you see a guy. He's up in the tree. He's he's trying his best to hide, um, and then you see him vanish, just fade away. It, it like he dematerialized. Do, do we see this guy on the top? Oh, this? No, no. Yeah. I don't know why he's there. That token's not there. Oh, okay, but we did see the one. In that was there. Yep, and he dematerialized in front of you. It looked like uh, someone dissolving. Between us and this random uh, box here. 
Uh, wait, wait, hold on. We when when we saw the orcs initially, we saw that one of them came out of a tree, like in the door type of thing. Yes, one of them. So, did. yes, can we determine which tree was that? And this one is for uh, who failed the word? If it was uh, Domingus. Ooh. Think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Dodge. Ooh. Nice. Yep. Just more corrosive net. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course. And what are you trying to do with the tree there? We saw the orcs came out of a tree, as in, like, from inside the tree, as if there was some sort of a. Uh, oh, there. no. Yeah, but Yelma, he, what he's he saw the guy who's looking straight at him. He did he wasn't moving. All he saw was like he took out a black rock, put it on his head, and just disappeared, dissolved in front of his face. Like he uh, well, dissolved away. Yeah. Initially when we first saw those two orcs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a down yeah, that was a down tree. Yeah. And he was peeking out of a tree. His character, we clearly saw the door that that orc came out of. And so Yelma can just... we go and investigate it? Uh, you can. Hang on. Are there any black rocks immediately around my vicinity? Uh, yeah, we would be is... checking for are, that. Are, are on at the least scanner. close enough? No, no, because I want to pick one up, and oh. I am going to actually strap it to my helmet. Cool. <laughs> we did try that last time. Nothing happened. To us, nothing happens. Yes. I think I know where uh, your mug is going with this. True. Okay, I get it. So is there a black rock around? Uh, you're looking around. Uh, you see a couple, a handful. Sweet. I'm gonna take the largest one that you know I can fit in my hand, and uh, I would like to s cement tape it. Uh, okay. Or might tape it because that's just standard equipment we have is adhesive yep. tape, and I'm gonna tape it to my helmet, just okay. in the same fashion that the orcs have on top of their heads. You're, you're I'm going to. I got it. I'm gonna I pick up another rock and do the same thing. Uh, wh why is your character doing that? Is, is it because the yellow mug is describing to you what he saw, witnessed? Yeah, I just think my character thinks it's a good idea to do the same thing. Well, so. randomly, or because the yellow mug told you. It's, it's, it's working. Well, I haven't told anyone to do it. Yeah. Okay. That's I'm, why I'm confused why your guy would just do it because he already saw another guy be an idiot and do it. I'm like, we've noticed more than one of them wearing this, and this one. <laughs> what I just witnessed was this orc place it upon his head and he disappeared. He didn't walk into a tree. He didn't slide into any hidden crevice. He just disappeared from sight. Okay, so now your character would put it on his head then. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's why I'm doing it. I didn't vocalize why, but... Right, 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 right. And, and I realize that it may not make us disappear to each other. But I'm just going to keep it on my head and just kind of see what happens. Gotcha. Yep, I'm going to do the same thing because I kind of... I saw uh, Anseus doing that and I subconsciously picked up on it. Well, he told you what happened. So you're oh, character yeah. If he didn't... Even if he didn't move, sister, I saw him disappear. So if he didn't move, I should still see him, Yes. You can, uh... Now, I imagine he's still sitting directly there, but if I put the thing on my head, I may not be here for him, either. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't see him, he can't see me. And no, it's not because I'm staring at the rock. I don't know if anyone understands that reference. So you're gonna take a shot at where he's at? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I agree. That was going to be my next step, was to shoot exactly at where he uh, had disappeared from. So I'm going to take aim where he was, and then uh, just full auto to where he was. Okay. Uh, minus 30. 
cool. Um, hang on. Sweet. Uh, boop. God damn it. Yep, big old whiffing, uh, hit the tree. That's what you see. You see yourself kind of hit the tree. Not exactly where he was. If I had done my free move further, I would have actually hit. Right. And, uh, Karnoff, what are you doing this whole time as you're witnessing this? I just shaking my head, just not saying anything. Okay. And, dude, what are you doing at this time? After just surviving an encounter with the net and now witnessing this? Uh, seeing that uh, one of those orcs disappearing. Uh, right. uh, Yelmuk saw it, and then he guys relayed that information to you guys. Your character would... Huh? So I would not know exactly where he is. Not exactly, but he can point it out to you. It's around where I shot. <laughs> I'll fire that general area, too. Minus 30? If you do a full... If you do, like, a, uh, a full aim action at that spot... And then another full round action. That's a plus forty. So a plus ten in total. If you take a full uh, two full actions to both the aim and then shoot. Yeah. So that will be what? And plus ten in total. Still going to be point zero eight then, right? Oh, sorry. You made the roll. I didn't see it pop up while I was explaining that. Yeah, when he's at minus 30, I counteract well, with that, my hit chance thing, so... Point zero eight is still one hit. Oh, so I hit? Yes. Okay. Oh, with one point? Wait. Well, you didn't... If it's full oh. auto, you do two, two damages. Um, uh, hold on. You gave yourself a plus 20 when it was at a minus no, 30. It's zero. I, I gave myself plus zero. The plus 20 is coming from where I have expert in ballistic skills. Ah. Okay. Well, it would have been like a negative 0.8 then, I guess. Because minus yeah. 30 plus 40 is just a plus 10. So you still would have missed by 0.8. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Math. And then we'll right at... after that, I decided to... Uh, Reload my uh, heavy bolter. Okay. Wait, your heavy bolter has a range of 150. Yeah. So, so, uh, hang on, hang on. Where are you? You're, you're not the one with the flail. <laughs> you're behind me. Damn it! If you were only 10 yards closer, <laughs> <laughs> you would have gotten an additional plus 10 to hit. So you would have hit him. What if I just move ever so slightly closer like this? You can still fire. shoot it. You can still keep shooting it. It's not like you can stop. Like, you can still sh keep shooting it, I guess. Or he's yeah. moved away. Uh, if our second or, marine could no, notice that yeah. there's a thing approaching from our south. A <laughs> I thing? Say taking... I see no pings. I'm, ob I'm right oblivious here. to them. Oh, this is super annoying. All the buttons blocking the... The rotating the blue thing. Is, there we go. Is where he's at. Brothers, okay, there's a thing over here. Do awareness check as you're looking at it. All right. Because you're not quite sure what it is. It, it, it's it's an orc. That's what it is. Yeah, you you think it's a uh, small orcish type creature or something. You're not quite sure. It's a humanoid of some kind. Um, you're not sure. Your guns are raised at this thing. Stop right there. I'm not sure you would talk to it. So the oh. the logical conclusion your character would start opening fire at this thing. Uh, who else didn't did an awareness check? We're missing somebody. We got three people. Oh, okay. Uh what what are the one fires in this? Oh, uh I was gonna uh plus twenty. So did anyone succeed with plus twenty and so, so our so additional to our, our normal? Yeah. Sweet. Additional to all normal. Oh, then I succeed. Yeah, you succeed. Uh, so everyone succeeds. 
You see it as a very um, well. No, Kashgar would uh, would have failed. Right. You see, yeah. it's a very disheveled guardsman. Uh, he has a, a bolter sniper rifle, or not bolter, a sniper rifle. Not bolter. You could have had a bolt a bolter uh, sniper rifle. Maybe. Do they? They do they make can. bolters for non-space marines. Well, okay. yes, but not, not. I don't know. So yes, then he would have something, something like that. And you just see him kind of just like uh, shakingly put it up and aim it towards you guys. He's shaking pretty hard. And you just, uh, yeah, he kind of just uh, puts his hand, his left hand up, and he uh, gives you the shush motion. Mm -hmm. The shush motion. Like uh, his fi his uh, finger in front of his mouth. Shush. Ah, oh, quiet. Be quiet. Yeah. Be quiet. Yeah. I nod in shushness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots of saying the snipers are needle right. rifles. And uh, he's doing some sort of hand gesture to you guys. You guys have to use uh, imperial lore. Yeah. Very very quiet. I'm hunting Would that rabbits. Consider this cipher. Huh? Would that be considered? Yeah, hold on. Didn't we have? It, it might be a cipher. Yeah, it's at the very top of the the groups on the right. It's a chapter of rooms only. Like that. Uh, oh, that's true. Uh, right. So. We said. Well, you said assume... Imperium lore, so. Imperium nope. lore. Nope. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're able to decipher. He's telling you that there's a basically a massive group of orcs that he sees. Uh, and he's telling you uh, Friendly's captured. I relay that information to my teammates. Moth is doing a warlord check. Yeah, you would, you would decipher the same thing that he just said. You would have gotten the uh, same result even if you made a different check. With his hand, with his hand gestures. So he's gesturing those those to you. You still got quickly. the same result. Look at that. Roll tactics. Yep. Damn. It does. Should one uh, of us approach him? So are you guys going to hand signal back to him because he told you to be quiet? Are you going to make a stealth approach to him? Or I will, I will attempt stealth and I will attempt to uh, get close to him. We we also uh, signal to acknowledge his gestures. Actually, wait, no. Uh, we can we signal for him to come to us. Possible. What do we roll for that? How do you get? Uh, I place my hand up. By the way, and then in a tactics? rotating motion, make it as if it's coming towards me. Right. <laughs> uh, as if I'm gesturing to come towards me. Right, he does. Uh, he what does do I a no for this? <laughs> nothing. But he does a he does a a no shake, and then he gestures something to you. Can we deduce it might be related to traps? Mm. Well then, I would like to make an awareness between the distance between us and him, and see if there's any red or black rocks. <laughs> I'll make an awareness check as well. Yeah, you can you can just you can decipher if you guys want to. You'd use the same lore, war lore, the Do I spot any traps between us and him? Uh you don't see any visible traps from you guys uh from you guys to him. Mm-hmm. Plus 20. That was me. Okay. Nice. Yeah, he has any traps. Oh, damn. Uh, so he basically is telling you uh, uh, they're watching this area. Uh, not safe. And then uh, my gesture and death watch hand gestures that we all understand and don't have to roll a cipher check for. Hopefully, follow right. that. 
<laughs> uh, he, yeah, he kind of uh, gestures something else back to you. Are you gesturing back to him there, uh, Sylvester Zeal? I imagine you are. No? Okay. Okay, he's just translating. Okay, so he does another motion. He can translate that one. So he tells you, no, it's not safe. Uh, the, the other motion that he gave you, he's, he gives you directions where to go. That's a safer alternative, safer route to to get to him. So basically, he wants you to go this way. I like how you drew an arrow, but uh, for some of us, it's all hidden in darkness. Yeah, yeah. that's hilarious. <laughs> well, yeah, well, he tells you to go that way. He tells you guys to basically go left. And stay Can behind be... the rush line. Cool. Okay. And let's do this. Moving silently. Modifier. I get minus 20 to all my silent move checks because of my power armor history. Uh, ah, yeah. plus, yeah, plus 30. The, 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 since the brush is so thick. Plus 30. Oh, I, I screwed that up. Hang on. <gasps> oh, you succeeded. Oh. Plus one minus minus. Yeah, I, I, I fat fingered it. I'm gonna have to. Well, roll that. even if you only give yourself a plus one, it still would have been a plus ten, so you still would have succeeded. Yeah, you but I think the mine has interacted weirdly with it. Oh, sh well, either way, yeah, I rolled an the... eight. So you guys making your yeah. way over to him? Yes. All right. Using uh, the direction that he uh, indicated. Right. So yeah, he moves over. Move. You see him disappear off the off to your guys' right. He used to see a poor sap of a, a guardsman come out. Doesn't have a helmet. So what you're saying is it's, he's a hero character, and we need to pay attention to this guy. Ah, right. no. He's not wearing a helmet in the 40K universe. It's a death sentence, unless you're a main character. Uh, no. He has <laughs> plot armor for now. No. Anyways, uh, so... You see him still have his rifle raised as he approaches you guys, and he slowly lowers it. In case he recognizes what you guys are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course he does. We're Death Watch. Well, he's also very... I mean, you're in a dense forest, so he's just making... You know, his character's making sure that you're not an orc York. We, uh... Well, I'm pretty, it's pretty sure it's very easy to distinguish a space marine from an orc. Yeah, it's at close range. You guys are in a dense forest, and he's he doesn't have sensors like you guys, so he has to go through the foliage, see you guys, and he's lowering his weapon. I show one so, of my yeah. pauldrons with the uh, Death Watch insignia on it. Ah, oh, he sees you guys. All right. So he, he walks up, he walks up to you guys, and he starts whispering to you guys. Ah, uh, they're all around us. My squad's dead. Are there any other survivors? Uh, he he tells you that he's aware of that they took um, some hostages from another squad. Cause he he was kind of watching this this encampment here. That he could have sworn they took out like last week. And he's not he's unsure why it's uh <laughs> there's orcs here again because they they obliterated this place. I'm gonna ask if he. We'll be right back. Okay. I'm gonna ask if he knows anything about uh, Drucka Gorefist, who's the uh, war boss of all the orcs right. here. Right. He says, "Yeah, uh, we were sent out to find his uh, fortress. He's been uh, pestering this entire planet for a while now. They're, they've been trying to locate and track him down." Have you had any luck? Yeah, they they tell you they have they have uh, intel that possibly to, the, to there's a fortress in the south, but they haven't got any patrols anywhere close to it. They always get ambushed, killed, or unheard of. They said they said more than likely that is the uh, the location of his fortress deep in the heart of the uh, forest here. And they've been uh, essentially the entire planetary military organization has been tracking Grucka for you know a couple of years. I get this guy down. 
because he's been hitting uh, military installations, raiding uh, uh, supply lines, um, attacking mining installations, y you name it. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, he said he, yeah he's like a uh, pretty bad buku threat. So, so do you know, do you happen to know where these orcs are reinforcing from? He says they have, uh, he says in general that they do have uh, uh, void ships that bring in reinforcements. And a lot of them, they, he says, uh, the, the other part he doesn't know. He says there's not enough ships to, to account for all these numbers they have. That they need to repop. Yeah, I don't know anything about these orcs. I don't know where, where they're coming from. And what about pla civilians on the planet? Tells you there's a couple villages in the forest. Okay. But so, uh, they, have, they have not been on the radar, they said, um, of uh, their squads. And they're kind of, he says, they're, they're to the east of this, of here. Okay. So I've got the, uh, I've got the mission number two note open. And that's where I've been getting this info from to ask these questions. Mm -hmm. yes. that, that handout. It's a mission number two handout. Yes, yes. Yep, yep. So we're basically canvassing at this point, trying to get as much information as we can out of this guy. Yeah, he tells you he's a squad leader of, uh, you know, uh, his squad, Silver Squad. Okay. So uh, how many guardsmen are captured in that base? Uh, he, he says by his count, there is at least five. Apothecary is saying, give us a location of all the orc bases you know of. And then Moth is also saying, if we know the... It, this is meta, but if we know the general location of base, can we nuke it from orbit? You can ask the question. You're in-game. It's like, why haven't you guys nuked from orbit? Well, oh, remember, yeah. they want this planet as much intact as they can. Yep. Uh, I guess it's an important strategic resource, so just nuking whole areas. Yeah, right, see, but we're, orbital bombardment is a much larger area than the nuke. Well, see, we're the we're the scalpel. We're coming in here and surgically removing the orcs, whereas the nuclear bombardment would be the hammer. How big is the laser cannon thing which we can plant with the... Uh, uh, which we were given, like the three devices, which we can request the orbital strike. How big are those? Look at the stats Wait, for like that. the beacons? Yeah. Oh, the beacons? I, mean, I imagine they're like handheld or... Yeah, they're handheld. Up. Yeah, you can just plop it down. Yeah, but the, the beacons are handheld, but like... Uh, you want to know the destruction radius of the orbital strike? Yeah, As well, it would obliterate entire installation. So larger than a nuke, yeah. A little bit larger. Right, but if uh, what I'm saying is if you wanted to just... It's like knowing uh, that that uh, weapons facility was in an area, but we didn't know where in the area it was. Kind of a thing. And then so if they wanted to destroy weapons. the base in that area, they'd have to blow up everything in the area. Um, yeah. But since they knew the location of the base specifically for that weapons facility, they were able to just pinpoint that base. But we don't have a pinpoint of the base, just a general area for it. And we're narrowing it down the further we come in contact with survivors. Uh, so while we probably still can mark it for obliteration once we actually find it, um, without destroying everything else in the area, we still right. have to pinpoint it enough so that an orbital strike actually makes sense. Uh, to you, yes. Right, because this is a strategically important um, world to the Imperium. They do not wish to destroy... I mean, they could glass the area, the entire area where they think he might be, but they would destroy key infrastructure as well in the process. And possibly make the planet uh, uninhabitable. So, there's, a, there's a lot of factors why you wouldn't just go willy-nilly with that weapon. Right. 
Now that yeah, other awesome. planet that was full of the uh, Hermagons or whatever, like that—that yeah, that was already overrun. So that was a prime target for exterminators. Yeah, yeah. I say, isn't it weird that orcs have hostages? They don't usually take hostages. No, it's not that weird. Uh, it, oh. it all depends on like you know which one. I'm talking better right now because uh, sometimes they will take hostages. They might use them as slaves. They might use them as a food source. Uh, they might have them just for fun. If they're actually intelligent, uh, they'll use them for intel. Uh, Got it. They might use them as bait. Um, Got it. it. So, while normally, yes, they just wouldn't. They would kill everything in sight. It doesn't mean that they won't occasionally take hostages. And this group from our intel that we've gotten, we know that they're a tad bit smarter since they use guerrilla tactics. So, we don't know why they were taking these hostages, but they could have actually had a purpose for them. They use literal guerrilla tactics by disguising themselves as guerrillas. Yes, yet <laughs> they still use mostly <laughs> primitive technology. And they are, like, uh, fond of poisonous and other toxic uh, weaponry. So they might I'm be back. testing out weapons on them as well. They could have integrated themselves into the guerrilla society, and that's where the boss is hiding. <laughs> True. So if we could find some kind of biologist who has taken account of, uh, and has more knowledge of the local guerrilla population, that may aid us in finding, <laughs> finding the boss. I wonder if we could, uh, phone it, home it, and... just a gorilla, yeah. I wonder if we yeah, could yeah. phone home and ask the biologists we rescued on our last mission about that. The tech priest? Yeah, I forgot. All but right. he was like... He was a biologist, so he might know this. He is a, he is a biologist. He's yeah. a tech biologist. That's his whole purpose. Um, so you guys kind of relate to him? Yeah, yeah. it's well, called we'll, the we'll tech priest. We'll, we'll relay that question now if you're like, hey... Out of curiosity, what are the population centers for uh, the local gorilla species? <laughs> uh, so, uh, basically, his secretary or whatever, they inform me his specialty is tyrannids. He, he has no idea anything uh, about, about that. Yes. Don't waste the time. <laughs> but maybe you could, I don't know, find someone on this who knows about that. Ask hey. Inquisitor who's got his tendrils in places. Right, he did the the someone biologist. up there might know someone who can find the information. That we need. Yeah, biologist just doesn't respond to your inquiries. They kind of just in transmission there. Right. Well, I was kind of sending my question up as a general, not necessarily specific to him. Ah, uh, okay. Um. So Captain Malcius tells you that there is a uh, few biologists that they have. Uh, they're accessing registry of scientists and all that stuff on that planet. They tell you there's a few biologists, uh, a couple in a couple uh, villages out there, kind of, that were doing the exact thing you're talking about, kind of taking the native population of that, of that forest. So, uh, they do not know his whereabouts. Brothers, I believe if we can liberate one of these villages, we may be able to find the relevant biologists. I think uh, I think finding the closest village is, is a good move because we can find a biologist and find a gorilla population center. They may be using these uh, gorillas as a means to hide themselves, uh, especially if they're literally covering themselves in their skins. A good source of that is a gorilla village. I like Moth's habitat. idea. Turns out the boss is actually just a gorilla. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Alright, dude, so uh, what are your inquiries going through all this? With the, with the character in front of you? The guardsman? What? I was asking, dude, uh, if he's uh, asking questions but, uh, from the guardsman. I, I don't have much context, so. Oh. <clears throat> so, like, I've heard about Gorilla Thing, but that's pretty much it. Basically, oh, no, no. yeah, he, he was dude was AFK. So, basically, we found we found this sniper guy. You were there for that, and then yes. we've just been questioning him 
about our primary and secondary objectives that we have here on the planet. He mentioned that there was a couple of uh, like human villages kind of in the area. Uh, yeah. He told us about where uh, more that a, a five guardsmen from another squad has been captured by orcs. Um, and he's also told us uh, a vague area of where the uh, their head, the orc base is. Yeah, yeah, same until you guys have it before, basically. Right, but hopefully this additional info helps narrow down the direction of the base. Uh, is it going to be the main base? Is it a forward operating base? Do we know? Uh, uh, we don't really know that level of detail, uh, but we just know it's like a larger base in the area. Well, um, the important thing that we know so far is that the orcs are disguising themselves as gorillas. So if we can... And using gorilla tactics. Yes, using gorilla <laughs> tactics. Can't forget that. Um, but uh, <laughs> if, we can, if we can find out where these civilians are, because we have to rescue them anyway, there should be a biologist within them uh, uh, that we can ask about the local them. wildlife. Okay, good, good. So you guys go over, over by the... Yeah, that, yep. that tree's still burning, still smoking... So you guys doing awareness checks a lot as you're going over there and getting bodies? Of course. Okay. Let me do... Well, hopefully that was along, uh, that was roughly along the path of that safe route that that guy pointed out to us. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm Jeez. sticking with the is next to the guard. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So you, you have to beat <laughs> that, see... To see this guy. Oh, just a seventy plus twenty for his concealment. All right. All right. Not bad. No. No. Uh, what does he have? He had a. He rolled. He three, rolled a he? three. Yeah, it's. I know, good. but his base is a seventy. Well, oh, look, yeah. seventy plus twenty minus one d one hundred. So if he rolled. Roll works. So yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So if he rolled, if he rolled higher than a three, like it would have been easier to beat, but. I would like to do tech use and see if this guy shows up on my Auspex scanner. Ooh. Go for it. All right. Because uh, I'm sure you're just scanning. And then the scanner... Oh, yeah. And then the scanner is going to be plus 20. Okay. My tech use roll. You did not see no, him. No, I, I didn't beat him. I rolled a frickin' 80. The uh, scanner bugs out, and I perform percussive maintenance on it. Well, it's not I mean, bugs out. It's it, 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 you're, you didn't roll a 95 to 100, so you're... you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Your sensor's, sensor's working. It's just... Oh, you just okay. didn't notice the guy. Got um, it. And as, as Moth comes along, he's going to... Uh, immediately see an orc fall <laughs> on the tree. Take a little <laughs> <laughs> That's all you hear. It's good to see that my aura of uh, self-immolation is working. <laughs> <laughs> that guys uh, around me just can't help but murder themselves in my presence. Right. So yeah. Uh, oh. He's he is badly hurt, but still alive, as far as you can tell. He's still alive. That's okay. That's good. Can we sub? Can I attempt to grapple him? I can. Oh, oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, do your thing, Moth. But I did. But I. Uh, what, whatever. Fine. Do you want to do your thing yeah. first? I would like to do my thing first. Uh, okay. It was somewhere in the rule book about grappling. It's like I need to do my strength in something. Hold on. Is like I think it's probably your strength compared to his strength. Well, he's on the he's, right. He's literally entangled in a net, uh, uh, fell out of the tree on the ground. AFK for a minute. Off. So you're trying to subdue him. So, page 240. Hold on. First thing you must do is click grapple. Damage controller. Hold on. 
246 page. I don't know. And just to see all where I'm about three minutes, I'll have to end the session. I got some things to take care of. It's okay. probably almost just, we're almost yeah. at a good stopping point. Use a charge action or standard attack action. The attacker ma makes a weapon skill test as normal. Weapon skill okay. check then. So. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I guess that's just my normal weapon skill check. And he must make an. Hold on. So you would get a. You would have got a plus, th plus 30, so you succeed. You have an orc. Plus yeah, you right. have an orc in, orc in your arms now. If the attack is successful, the attacker and the target are grappling. Uh, the target of the grapple may use a reaction if able to avoid the attack. Uh, he is in a net, tangled up. If the grapple participants in the grapple can use reactions or controls are engaged in melee, can only be used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh... And that's a good point, Moth. Uh, I for keep forgetting that uh, all Space Marines can do that, not just certain chapters. Yes. Omophage. Let me actually. That's the thing where you eat their brain or whatever and gain their memories. Ah, okay. Yeah, 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 that's right. So you have a orc in your hand now. There's a certain chapters that it has a uh, extreme bonus from, like mm -hmm. uh, the Blood Angels and the Soul Drinkers. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. And you, uh, oh, you think... just in time for dinner. Yeah, and he's just he's cussing <laughs> you out. The thing is cussing you out. Mmm. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just basically holding him. <clears throat> Some dude. Yeah, this guy, this this net is not a toxic net, as far as you uh, can see. It's not. Brothers, armor. eating this hor eating this orc would be heresy. No, it wouldn't. No, it no. Wouldn't. Gaining the knowledge of our foes is paramount to our mission. Oh yeah, I forgot we can do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what we're we were just talking about before you got back. Got it. That's why yeah. we're wanting to eat him. Not not just to do it like normal role players would probably just do, but for a okay. purpose. Okay, cut his hand off, you eat it, uh, and you get uh, kind of vague images of this guy eating like a uh, uh, grog or something with some uh, very big guy with like uh, various skulls on his head. And uh, you also see this guy jumping through trees a lot and uh, picking up rocks. And also some images of him uh, throwing nets to capture people. Kind of ironic that the Blood Angel is participating, he's trying to access the memories. Nice. Well, it is kind of like their chapter specialty. Yeah. yeah, just sucking the blood out. <laughs> like vampires. Based on the information you've gotten from this work, not likely. Either you're getting bits and pieces. All right. But it is good information, though. I mean, now you know what he looks like, and... Uh, you can attempt to interrogate him, I guess. And that the primary mode of transportation is the trees. Boko, I think you mean we're getting bites and pieces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, with enough uh, nibbles on this, we can eventually get a megabyte out of it. Maybe some gigabytes of uh, data and information uh, that true. we need to find him. We can also try to interrogate the orc. You have interrogation trait, not me. No one has the interrogation. Oh, well, I guess somebody. That's right. Somebody Apothecary. trained interrogation. Apothecary. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <clears throat> Hold on. I want to walk up to the orc and then take off my black rock and see if it surprises him. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. 
Uh, no. He just looks at you uh, funny, like he's like uh, shifting his head back and forth. <laughs> and here, cutting at you and uh, laughing a I, bit. I throw my rock at his foot. <laughs> <laughs> nice Star Wars reference. Mm hmm. He, he grunts in pain as you throw the rock at him. Wait, I was supposed to wait until later, my bad. Oh, why should you do that for? Did you, did you actually tell him of the Rebel Orc base? Yeah, he's asking. That's what he's asking. That's his oh, That's, okay. He's interrogating the Orc. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, go ahead, roll. Uh, minus 30. Jeez. Oh. But I hit him with a rock. Right, and he kind of just uh, says something uh, uh, indecipherable to you guys in orcish language. You're not gonna get any information out of me. <laughs> Nothing like that. God, he's oh, speaking okay. Cockney. No one can understand that. Um, <laughs> right. So the the sniper guy is um, okay. Well, behind you guys as well, and I ask, uh, how the hell do you manage this? And you just see him ready his rival. Oh, he fell out of a tree. They didn't tend to do that around us. Yeah. The emperor protects us in many ways. One of those ways is the uh, our enemies tend to foil themselves. Cool. He says. He says. He didn't say much, you just say, alright, and he levels his weapon at the orc's head. Go sure. ahead, we've used, gotten as much as we can from this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you just hear a muffled, <laughs> orc's dead. Oh yeah. I hope it's good. The, uh, <laughs> the jungle foliage is painted with his brains. Okay. So, we have a decision now upon us. Either we go after a village and go after this long bomb idea of they're integrating themselves into the guerrilla society here um, because there are snake bites and they're very primal, so they may have found a kinship with the local guerrillas and thus are emulating them to the most extreme extent. So we try and find a gorilla population by finding a biologist in a local village. Which can help us achieve, you know, rescue civilians. Or, uh, we try and find, uh, the areas where, uh, the last, uh, Garsman group was kidnapped and try and trace back, uh, where they t may have taken hostages to. Which will probably oh, be more uh, along the lines of the area than. Yeah, the marine, the marine kind of told you he uh, it's over yeah. in this area. Oh well, fuck. Yeah. Let's just go do that. It's right there. <laughs> he he did tell you. Yeah, he told you that. He said he he uh, the area they cleared out that that infrastructure place that you guys are going to. He tells you uh, there is a crap ton of orcs in that area, and they're up to something. And then there there's there's uh, by his count five guards. I mean, he's been scoping out the area for quite a while. Okay, I would like to move very stealthily uh, in that direction. Um, and I would like to say, somebody give me the anti-plant missile. Because if they're grouped, this may be a perfect time to use it. If this is, in correct. fact, one of their structures. Uh, let me see if I have it or someone else has it. Uh, well, I, I think you have it. And oh, oh, I am. Uh, am I? I might be. On top of that, we might just use our fate points just so that you can get close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stealthily. And then run the hell out. So I'm going to start moving in that direction. I'm going to stay behind you, but also move stealthily. Oh my god, stop it. Here we go. So I move there, and I'm, of course, trying to pay both extreme attention to my surroundings. Uh, what's the modifier on that again? Uh, minus 30. Go to give me three checks as you're pulling up to this area. It's really minus 30. Mm -hmm. oh. So it's minus 10. I like how the awareness check got harder as we progressed in this. There's a reason for it. Yeah, we became aware of what to look for, so it got harder to find them. No. Yeah. 
No, no. I, I will also reason... roll minus 10 because I'm just following him. Yeah, but a plus really... 30 for my silent moves. Oh because... god, I critically That's failed. Worse. You are... Uh -oh. Crash! 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 You wanna fail? <laughs> god damn it. Oh, I don't know if we need to be making multiple silent moves or not, but... Well, we're all moving. We're all following you, right? Uh, I know, I mean, uh... He wanted us to make, like, three awareness checks. Mm -hmm. I don't I know how many my awareness checks. stealth checks he wants us to make. I just... not, not all of you three, just just the leader of you guys, because everyone oh. will fall behind you. Oh, Boko, three, I, I just nice, want nice you... to pass. Boko, yeah, I... Yeah, you're... Yeah, I also passed. Boko, I all want right. you to take a moment to appreciate the fact that I rolled a natural 100 on my silent move check. <laughs> right, bad shit was about to happen. You, you gonna fate roll that to, to do that again? Very bad things will happen. You might want to get rid of that. No, I'm not gonna spend a fate point. I want to see what happens. Let's fuck around and find oh. out. No. <laughs> All right. All right tell, us, tell us what might happen. Uh, no. Everyone do a check. No, no, no. You guys, it's happening because he he didn't want to fate yep. roll. So it's, it's happening. Happen. <laughs> so we're doing a what check? Uh, everyone do awareness. Awareness. <laughs> awareness. Oh awareness my gosh. Awareness dispersing. What's their total awareness? Uh, plus 20. Uh, plus 20. Oh, well in that case it, I get a 4.2. Yeah, it's fairly obvious that what the sound is, or... It's a, it's a very and loud sound. of course sound. I rolled a 99. Course, you're the only one who failed it. <laughs> You yeah. Your character jumping around and being an idiot and breaking twigs <laughs> and pulling <laughs> off noises does is a totally oblivious to what happened. Everyone else hears a giant mechanical uh, something uh, spin up. Uh oh. You hear like chainsaws. Take cover, brothers. Take cover. Mm hmm. Uh, you guys can do Xenos Lord to kind of figure out what it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the deck. Since uh, Yomug told me to take cover, but because ah. I'm failing spectacularly at everything, okay, I'm gonna roll. Can pass that? Oh no, it's not. It's not. Okay, so you vaguely, Moth, your character would know that is more likely a like somehow a killer can, like a gigantic oh. thing in the distance that just rolled up. Ah, the killer can, the little robot piloted by Groblins. Right. You say little. I don't think it's going to be little, isn't it? Well, I mean, compared <laughs> to a dreadnought or a death dread, it's about the same size of us. Kill okay. Because really? again, thought... they're piloted by Gretchen. They're... No. I think it's way bigger than that. This no, is they're piloted by thing. orcs. No, no, no. Not killer cans. Okay, so no, not the killer cans. The killer uh... cans are much smaller. They're they're a little taller than space marines, but they're piloted by Gretchen. No, um, not the no, 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 the, uh, no, 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 no. big one. Death Dread is like the size of a Dreadnought, and that's the big mech. Okay. okay. It's piloted Have you by played... orcs. are bigger than orcs. Killer cans are bigger than orcs. Yeah, they yeah, are. Got... Yeah, but they're not, like, that much bigger. It's like, going to be bigger than we are. It's going to yeah, be yeah. taller than us. Killer cans are still bigger than us, yeah. Okay. But it's not like a massive giant thing like a Death Dread is. And, it's, no. and from what, yes. what I understand, it's going to be the Death Tread. No, no, no. No? no? Okay. It's going to be a killer can. It's so about it's a, the so size it of... Okay. It's about the size of a Dreadnought, maybe a bit smaller. Yeah, smaller, a bit smaller than a Dreadnought. Yeah, it's going to be smaller than a Dreadnought, because the Death Dread's about the size of a Dreadnought. Okay. Because the Death Dread and okay. the Dreadnoughts are equivalent to each other. What oh, a Death Watch, so you guys can understand this thing looks like if you haven't seen one before second oh geez here i gave you another picture of i think that. that's a death dread yeah is that, that that's, that a, is. that's a death dread i literally googled killer can that looks like a killer can to me yeah yeah let me pull out one of my Death that I got. And it, and it even says, Killer Can. Okay, killer it, is, can. it is a Killer Can. By the way, for those of you watching the YouTube VOD, um, just do Google image search for Killer Can to get an idea of what we're talking about.
Or DuckDuckGo. Okay, with those legs. Privacy. Yeah, with those legs, it is a killer can. Yeah. Yeah. Death Grid be... has uh, those crouchy legs and possibly more arms when they're fatter and bigger. So, yeah, that is a killer can. We're going to be in some right. shit. <laughs> oh. But a killer can is like half the size of a Dreadnought and a, or a Death Dread and a Death Dread. So, you guys hear health. that? I got crack missiles. We're good. Oh, I, yeah. I, I can't tell you the health of it, but uh, that's what you hear. You guys don't. You guys don't know if it's, if this thing sees you. You guys don't know anything. All you know is your big fat tech marine was loud, obnoxious, and annoying, and now that thing. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> One tech marine was being yeah. obnoxious, where the rest of us are being stealthy. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I tripped thinking, and like, fell over every single rock, twig, and uh, vine. Pray cool. that you hit them so, off. I pull out my uh, missile launcher and I load a crack missile into it. And I'm yeah, now on the on the pier for uh, on the watch out for any kind of mech. Coming you know, it's kind of it. yeah, it's kind of a good thing that he did this, right? Because now you know that the yeah, giant mech near. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say uh, good job being at a distraction. <laughs> I don't think it's wise. Okay, and I spread out and take cover, brothers. Yeah, so uh, you guys can do more observation because we're probably gonna end here. We're not gonna do another combat session. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can do what we'll we can to get in a good position to stage for the combat next session. Yes. Yeah, that would be great. Let me get in front then, then you just stay in front of you in case someone. There you go. That's good. I'm guessing that I'm going to be at the bottom of the initiative list. <laughs> He's on your luck. Yes. Maybe you'll be at the at the top this time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I would like uh, I don't know, to get in a good hiding spot then. Okay. Uh, do concealment, I believe. That's is it, is it, con it is concealment. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any bonuses? Uh, plus 30, because the dense forest. I'm actually, I'll also attempt to conceal because I'm trying to be stealthy yeah. still. Do you uh, wish fate <laughs> roll there, Moth? May as, well, you may as well use them since we get them back next session. Yeah, I'm using mine. Okay. I'll keep I'll keep mine at a one point. So with the help of the, the sniper, he kind of gives you pointers uh, not to go in that area you're at now, right? So he tells you to come over to this area over here. Mm. So I imagine, because if you go there, she told you not to go in that area because they're watching that area. We can just move there, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, he, he, he guides you over to that direction safely, avoiding that area that they're overwatching. It'll be behind this rock. Right, and... Uh, right, or, no. right, so the... And the the sniper points to you to a couple key locations where you guys can set up positions. So he says there you can set up, there you can set up. Uh, uh, he knows there's two sentries here and here that he's seen recently. And then he does, hold up, let's see. As you guys are in position, he, the, he does tell you more than likely, uh, they do not know we're here, but because of that that noise, they're probably getting ready to just trash everything in the area anyways. So you guys are in for a fight. So they didn't hear the boulder shots. They didn't hear, like, <laughs> the, 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 the fire. tree fire. Dense, yeah, but, dense jungle. Right. But a, a stomping of our tech marine did. Great. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh... This is what the guards was telling you, but he could be completely wrong for all you know. Oh boy. This is just not based on the knowledge what he's telling you. Very well. <laughs> you can take it at face value if you wish. Uh, how hey, smart is your he survived by himself. Uh, so he seems like a, a kind of person who you should heed. True. Did we double check that he was a he human? Yes. Yeah, he was okay. human. He's human. He's the guardsman. Doesn't have his ha uh, helmet. He's uh, has tattered everything. He has mud all over his face. Uh, he's put like um, on his snipers. 
very obviously has been Gilead uh, for camouflage. Okay. So, like, he's been out here for quite some time, actually. I like how moths spell gorilla tactics like the animal gorilla, not guerrilla. Right? Yeah. <laughs> gorilla. Well, yeah, because that's what they're using. That's what they are using, yeah. Right. It's uh, animal gorilla tactics. Yeah. Right, that box you guys see there, that's a weapons uh, cache that you guys are seeing. Okay. As you're coming in. We'll open that later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Along with that other one that we passed uh, for that second engagement that we had, there was another box up there. Uh, that was, you did not know what was it was. The drop. Just, no, no, there was that. That was with the tree. The other one, the brown one <laughs> that he's talking about, that one you saw was just like a collection, assortment of. Uh, no, I'm saying there was another box akin to the one we're next to now. Yep. Further like up. This one. Yep, over here. Yeah, that's out so, of our, that's yeah, out of our you, sight range right now. Yeah, yeah, you saw it was very of uh, varying degrees of boxes and other uh, just screwed out equipment. <laughs> Where you gather? Right. Yeah, I think this is a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Man, what a note to end on. We get to fight a kill a can next session. Let's hope yeah. we don't die. <laughs> Any uh, experience? Eight hundred thousand. Uh, no. That's gonna be six hundred. 600? 600, yeah, all 600. right. All right, that's... Nice. With all the shit you guys went through that forest, that, I, like, uh, I made sure that forest was very laden with traps and just keeps you guys paranoid to kill everything in sight. And by the way, <laughs> I did want to point out, one of our secondary objectives is securing orc tech. Yep. So if we make yes, it out of here... That's why we were collecting the, the nets and all that. Yeah, that's why we security made sure we got the corrosive nets. Uh, right. We get we got the special rocks. We got some special rocks that we've collected. Well, you threw them into the sap. Well, I threw some extra rocks into that. I, I, I fine. <laughs> yeah. We have plenty to, to collect for uh, special rocks. Yeah, these rocks are very, as far as you guys can tell, very common throughout the jungle. You see the various red... You see purple. I'm half tempted to just uh, requisite trying to uh, requisition a uh, a paint gun and just <laughs> paint all the rocks just yellow. Or something. <laughs> no, they should all be purple. Well, that would make them even stealthier. So we don't want to do. Yeah. That. <laughs> yes. Even stealthier. Oh right! If we hide the rocks, they can't see them. Correct. So they can't use now, them. That's right. Now you're thinking like an orc. I mean. Uh, <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I mean, mm. <laughs> Heresy. <laughs> Forbidden Skittles, that's correct. I love orcs. <laughs> I thought you guys would enjoy that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was like, what's, what's the stupidest thing they could do to be quote unquote stealthy gorilla fighters? I don't know, rocks <laughs> on their heads. Oh, perfect. <laughs> to become literal <laughs> gorillas. Perfect. And yeah. literal gorillas, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, that's I like brilliant. Man. I was hoping to use their own psychology against them. If uh, if they think the black uh, the black rocks on top of their head makes them turn invisible, if I'm wearing a black rock on top of my head, then I should be invisible to them. Yeah, well, exactly. Uh, counterpoint: did, 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 you, did you throw it already, or do you still keep it on your head? Uh, no, I took it off and threw it on the ground because it uh, it didn't work. It clearly it didn't, it work. didn't work to that one arc that we had captured. So that was one arc, though. I was uh, you're ones. right. You're right. He wasn't grouped up with all the people who believed it. Oh, yes. I made a mistake. Our tech marine, though, still is still wearing it. I believe. It's, yes, he's still wearing it. Yeah, I yeah. am. I did. Too. I never took it off. Oh, yes, right. I did submit it to my helmet, so I couldn't have uh, taken it off. I now have a permanent rock. I just have the space <laughs> marine. My <laughs> I have the. Uh, I have the Space you, Marine equivalent of a dunce room. cap on, which is quite fitting since uh, I alerted our presence. Yeah. But I, I guess so, yeah. Me and, the, me and the Tech Marine are both still wearing uh, the black rocks in our helmets. Yeah, true. Yeah. So we may we may still inadvertently be hidden to a larger group of works. True. We'll find out on the next episode <laughs> of Dragon Ball Z. Oh God! Oh, Warhammer 40k. We're not. What are you doing? I hope, I hope <laughs> you guys definitely def will make up from the the last mission, which was just wave spam. So I'm trying to mix it up there for you guys. 
dude is making yeah, the joke yeah. that it's going to take several episodes to do one <laughs> one action. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, <laughs> I scream. Ah, that's my next 20 turns. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe at the end of all that screaming, I'll just unload a full auto blast and kill somebody. True. Or or go full Super Saiyan. Yeah. That would be heresy. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I do need to uh, head out right now. Same here. All right, all right boys. That was a lot all of right. fun. See y'all next week. Oh, See yeah. you next week. See all you. right.